podcast. I'm Justin Hor. <laughs> I'm, I'm already thinking about saying oh, your no, name. I fuck my name. name, name. Justin Horro, joined as always by Widabu, Iliami, William, Mason, Triple G. What's happened? Big week, brother. Yes. Obviously, heaps of uh, or, you know origin news, origin selections. Um, you're about to go do an origin dinner yep. after this. Uh, plenty going on, brother. But how was your weekend? Enjoyed the footy. What's happening, mate? It was a, a very cruisy weekend. I was up. Um, I went up to the Gold Coast. I had a few meetings up there with some some people. Um, got back down here on Saturday. It's a very dangerous place to have a meeting. Yeah, very dangerous. I didn't really like, so I got out of there real quick. Cruising um, in, in the Rari. Were you in the Rari? The Porsche? Yeah, yeah. Met some really good people. Like yeah. I might. Um, they love the show. They love the show up there. Yeah. So I met a, f- a few good people. They got business down here. They're in Melbourne. When we go down and see the fights, you'll. You'll meet this guy and he'll um you'll be pimp- you'll be pimping. All right, you'll be awesome. pimping. Um, so he's just give you a little hint. Let me get to that, Mace. Yeah. So we are excited to be heading down on Wednesday. Um, we normally film the show Wednesday afternoon. We're going to be filming it in the morning. We're going to head down and we are going to be going down to the No Limit uh, first ever No Limit Melbourne um, fight. So How Joseph Parker is the main event. He's taken on Fanga Opalu, I believe. Django. Pol- Django. Uh, apologies if I pronounce his name uh, wrong, but we are, we're Joseph Parker. Joseph anyway, Parker. I've known, Joey, JP. I've known Joey since 2012, 2013, even yep. before he hit the scene massively. He's a really close friend of mine. Um, I went to uh, his world champion fight over in, in England when I was over there. Um, always kept in good contact with him. Uh, he's a... He's a champion. He's a, such a nice guy. On on and off, he's an absolute weapon. I think you. I don't think you'll have much trouble with this guy. Yeah, awesome. But uh, you know, we got, got some. Uh, we got some passes. Yeah, we got some passes. Limit. We got backstage. Hopefully, we can have a chat with Joseph. I spoke to him today. He said he's pretty keen. But you Sick. know what? Hey, after a fight, mate, if he gets beat, I don't want to go. No, <laughs> no, he ain't, he ain't getting beat. He he's not getting. getting beat. He's not getting beat. But it's just you know we got all access passes down there. We know the guys at Juco. We know the No Limit Boys. So. You know, Levels Podcast will be down there. Yeah, great. Cool effect. Uh, co-main is Nikita Zoo versus Melbourne local Ben Bomber. Yeah, I've seen so him talking some shit. I don't, I don't know. If, is, that, is, is that his last name? Or he, if that's his nickname, he better be able to fucking bomb. Or <laughs> he I'm must on, be. Because he, he'd want to against Nikita because Nikita is about that. He's 21 years old. I think he's the, the next big thing, as, okay. as he says. But yeah. um, Nikita's very reserved, isn't he? I saw him in the... Uh, I love Nikita. I saw him in the match, the fucking thing, and he just went, you better not shit the bed. Pretty much, that's what he said. He goes, all this, all this training you're getting, all the, all the American trainers and the sparring, puts more pressure on you. Is I'm paraphrasing. He goes, yeah. so you better not shit the bed. The best <laughs> I thing. love that, sh- <laughs> mate. Well, I've been lucky enough to to be at a few no limit events and um, being in around those boys. Man, they're different. Th- yeah. Those boys are different. The Zoo Brothers, obviously, yeah. Timmy. Everyone knows about Timmy and Nikita's. You know, he's on the up, but. They just got that look in the eye, man. Eh? Just that those uh, they, ain't, un- they ain't the full quid unassuming, respectfully. Unassuming. Respectfully. They fucking they they're a little they bit they're a little bit wide, a little bit different. Fighting. Yeah. Fighting and fighting. They want to hurt. It's they that, hurt. that so Russian the right side, game. man. It's, it's that Russian <laughs> side. It's the father. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time, um, Kosha, one little story, Kosha, um, come to a bonding night. Oh, I yeah. think it was 03 or 04. Yeah. And uh, we locked horns and he drank my um, whole bar fridge. <laughs> So you owe me 350. <laughs> I'm still holding it against you. <laughs> you never forget shit drank, like that, eh? He drank, I'm like, he goes, come, we drink, we drink. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. This is when uh, the bonding nights were pretty solid. Yeah. We got we got uh, Kosha coming. Me and him just locked horns and sat there and he That's fucking the hold two, fuck, two bar fridge. That's two bar fridge. I think we went into minis after. You uh, just mentioned it before, Big Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King's in town. Yeah. He's obviously there to support his good mate, Joseph Parker. Uh, and he said he's looking forward to a Parker knockout. So, yeah. man, Gypsy King's going to be in and around the, the ring. I think he's obviously got ringside tickets. See us there by getting your tickets for Margaret Court Arena on Tick Attack or buy the pay-per-view on Foxtel and KO's main event. We're pumped for it. We're looking forward to yeah, getting man. down there. Shout out to the Nolan boys. Thank you. it would be fun. It's so fun. Uh, while we're at it, let's keep thanking everyone, our partners, Tab and BSC. Again, congrats to BSC for a great Indigenous round. Um, yeah. Really got around the boys, seen the skins. Um, everywhere. All, everywhere, all the boys are rocking it. You know what I thought? It's, you know what I let myself down? And this is like sort of mixing into the Tab. My anytime jam, bro. I should have been back in the Indigenous Everyone. I, all of them scoring. I think Nico got one disallowed, but Will Kennedy scored for Cronulla. Fox scored a double. Outstanding. Um, the indigenous boys were crossing, man. And I was, once I've seen a, a few of them going of it, over. Did you? I said, oh, man, you know they, they want to step up. Know they been. You know they want to step up for indigenous round. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, so it was such a great round. I mean, body science do some great things. You know, they're always thinking outside the box. It's not about this, it's not about this. 
You know what I mean? It's what they can do back into the community, and they know, um, you know with the skins and everything like all the, they sponsor most clubs. Yep. But just to, just to even go out there and change the skins and um, and represent the Indigenous round like that, that's not many companies do that. Hundred percent. That was amazing. This is their bread and butter, the high protein vanilla, currently available in Woolworths online at bodyscience.com.au and in independent supplement retailers. Mace, can you get up the ready-to-drink vanilla and chocolate shakes? Currently available in Coles online, bodyscience.com.au and in independent supplement retailers. But like you said, Mace, they're not just a supplement. The, you know, the, that's their bread and butter, but they yeah. love doing stuff like they did on the they're weekend. They're very conscious. They're, they're very We're conscious. We're super grateful for being, being um, partnered up with them and this it's, year. And it's weird, you know, you know, they've got enough money, they've got enough to... Um you know, they've got that to settle. They can settle down and not really do that much. But yep. they're still conscious and self-aware what's going on in society, and they still do this. Yep, That's what 100%. I love about body science. Go rip into that shake, brother. Yeah, As you get into that, I want everyone that's listening right now to go on, like, and subscribe. Six and a half k, and we're chasing that ten. So had a good five hundred jump. Off the back of our Simply Par episode with the Broncos boys. Super grateful for those boys. We filmed that a couple of weeks ago, uh, just before Adam Reynolds had that knock. Uh, and then Reese Walsh got selected for Queensland. So I heard Payne Haas wants to join up. Big Payne. We going? Big Payne, he wants in. All right, OG, I'll, I'll talk to him tonight. Just get through, get through Origin, dominate Origin, then we talk after. All right, we're we're going to run it back, Broncos edition with Payne Haas. Yeah, 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 100. But for everyone who's uh, who hasn't seen that already, killing it. Um, you know, the micro with, with Ren's IQ, footy IQ. That's the shit. Like, we love awesome. doing that, that stuff. Awesome. We can't that wait to do more. Great work. We've also got um, Next Levels coming up. There's a yep. little bit of a hint. We've got some big, big guests coming up for that yeah, as well. We so do. we're super excited to start getting the guests going as well this year. Um, so go on there, like, subscribe. Uh, also, leave us a review. Five stars, Apple, Spotify, all the good stuff. Okay, getting into the show. So we're going to be getting into our biggest takeaways as per. We'll get into our body science dog of the week. Um, we're going to go back. Scopes the presser of round 12. It's a doozy. <laughs> I think everyone expected a certain coach. I've gone with one of my all-time favorites. We'll get into origin selections. Mace, I've got a bunker proposal for you. Um, yeah. I'm going to toss something up. I think I've got a way. I think the bunker can be improved. Right. And then we'll pr and then we'll review all the games from round 12. You ready okay. to get into it? Yeah, let's go. All right, getting into the biggest takeaways from round 11. I come up with this, Mace. I just want to throw this to you. I think this, again, talks about the strength of the competition. All four, bottom, all four of the bottom four teams this week, going into week 12, Mace, they won. The Dragons, the Tigers, the Bulldogs, and the Eels. Um, again, we just highlights. I think it's just a, a real point. I just, I just wanted to get that out, that how close this competition is yeah. when you look at it now. So we went over it last week. Um, with a couple of teams that had the buy, So the Eels are currently sitting in 13th, but they were behind the Cowboys at the time. Geez, you've got to be on your game this year, OG. Oh. You, can't, you can't slip up. You can't like... You can't even slip up for 20 minutes. Well, this, you're is, this, is not having, this is game. not having an off game. This is not, oh, we're off for the whole game. No, you're only off for 15 minutes. Most, most teams are like that. You, you can never be off against the Panthers. I mean, look at, look at, the, look at the Roosters. Oh, look mm. at St. George. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like that game there. Super then, desperate, that then game. Then the, the one that really nailed it was the Parramatta game. Yeah, true. Like I was like, I didn't fucking back any of those teams. <laughs> yeah, no one did. No, un, none from three. No, I, bought, I backed, um, I, I think I backed the Panthers, right? We had the Panthers. We both had the yeah. Panthers, but we thought it would be close. And I it was. the Roosters would come out and flex. Yep, I agree. Yeah, we but both. Thought, did we talk? We talked about the coach bouncing back, the yeah. new coach. Well, I've got a we stat for that. Way off. Give, I've, got, I've got a stat for it. Were so, we way off? No, remember how I told you... I thought, um, it was seven, I thought it was 70%. One from 10 in the last 10 games, the no, interim we coach. Near it. I assumed the same, right? It wasn't until um, I'd seen a stat, maybe from Random Stats Guy or someone like that on, on Instagram. So I had to double check it. And before the game, I think I seen someone talking about it. Cause before I that... Thinking, so Because I was thinking, I was just like, I'm going to go to St. George just mm. because I thought the stat was like 70% of the time. 10%. It's 10%. Fuck. Now it's 20. Yeah, well... Two out of the last 10 now. It's good, but um, yeah. Uh, but, then, but then the South and Para game, I'm like, I thought South are going to blow them off. Para's all right. Well, this is the thing. What was your takeaway from that? Rabbitohs were they off or Parramatta was on? Both for sh for sure. Rabbitohs were a little bit off, and like I said, because the competition's so close, you're feeling yourself. You got a few wins. You put it over Parramatta the last couple of years. Parramatta are super desperate, and also you got to remember Parramatta always play better against the better teams and mm. drop their standards sometimes when they play the lower ranked teams. Do you think teams. some team? We'll probably get in this later. Do you think some players were like, I just, I just need to get through this and just get to Origin, and then some players 
fucking, I need a 10 out of 10 game to get into origin. That's a good point. Do you know what I mean? Like there was a difference and I could see the difference. Like you're never going to get that out of a Cam Murray. Cam Murray's Correct. always on. Yep. You know, but I saw, I saw, I'm not even going to name names, but I saw some players that are 100% locks. They're locked in. Yep. They just went through the motions. Well, I will And on say, both, both New South Wales and Queensland. Yes. I will say in their defence, I just think, I just I, I keep putting it back down to the level of the competition. And I'm just year. saying, maybe I've been in that position before. Yeah, so you know all and about it. I'm like, just get me in fucking yeah. origin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially if you know you're one of the first picked. And your team's going well. And you're going and all you're right. Settled. And you you're settled. You go a loss. You're never thinking about losing, but yeah. hey, the younger blokes will probably step up. You can get through you this can at 70. Of, you know, you 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 get on there, you set the standard, you fucking get off to a good lead, and then hopefully the younger fellas can bring it on home and you don't look that stupid. But this game is so close right now. Mm. As I said, back then in the 2000s, you could fucking dop. Just say if we were playing against South. In Last two, year you in could. Two, in 2004, if we're yep. playing against South. Yeah, that's a tick. You think we give a fuck? Tick. The one before Origin? Tick. We're like, come on. I'll get out there. I'll blush to bits in the first 25. And then we're like pretty much get the bench on. Yeah. You know, so I think, but this, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but now you are not doing that. Yeah, you got to be out there. No. If you're if you're the main dude, every team is out to kill you. I'll tell you what. I'm looking at Tigers second last now. In the in the next couple of weeks through Origin period, they are the last team you want to be playing. They're fucking on. <laughs> <laughs> They're on. If Luke Brooks, I said yes. I said this is this is when the media and everybody comes out and has a crack at Luke Brooks because. You perform like that in your 200th game, right? Yeah. He looked like he was playing for an origin spot. <laughs> like we want if, if he could play like that every single week, he'd be in the fucking he'd be in the conversation to play this week. Well, that's I where mean, the next criticism week. comes that's from. That's right? where the criticism comes from. So yep. you can't be at most of the great halves, they sit about seven and a half out of ten. That's what you're gonna get normally. Yeah. And then they'll fucking eight or nine you every now and again, every one or two weeks. Yep. The great ones do that. He'll give you an eight. Next, the week after, it's a three. Yeah, negative three. Yeah, but like that's <laughs> got that's there's him, a man. discrepancy, and there's yeah. like that. That's why the media come at him. I do and think plus I, it's this the cash. I also do think the cattle's getting better around him too. These younger players coming through, they're starting to get. We'll, let's, we'll get to that as we break good down player. the game. Let's not put you know he is good enough year as well. He is good enough if they if they build a team around him and uh, they've got a lot of belief around him. So it's good to see. Um, Happy for him anyway. So. Is Luke Brooks your body science dog of the week or do you have someone else? Not a chance. <laughs> um, <laughs> my dog of the week. Yeah. I don't like going for the, the ones that are playing for the Bulldogs, yeah. but I have to. Yeah. The big man, TPJ. Hey, well, I want to – look, I want to give you um, – I know you've – there's a little bit in this for you as well. I know you've been working really hard. Um, you probably haven't – Set it across the platform, but I know a big part of what you're doing with the Bulldogs is helping some of the middle forwards, in particular, mm. getting the best out of TPJ. So you must be super proud of him. I am so proud. I sort of had an inkling about six weeks ago, right, mm. just before he was coming back there, and I spoke to like an insider in the New South Wales camp, and they're yep. like, "Fuck, how's how's he going?" I said, "Mate, preseason was out of this world. We looked like he looked like he was on calf injury, calf injury, a couple of setbacks." And then, you know, I spend a fair bit of time with him like every week and one on ones, a lot of one on ones, a lot of, a lot of like, a lot of talking, a lot of like, we, we ice bath, we're sitting there, we try and outlast each other with yeah. 10, 15 minutes in you're the hitting, ice bath. You're hitting the Tyson he Fury's he on him. Yeah, he can't, he can't get me in the ice bath. I fucking, I'm, I'm all over <laughs> it. So um, we ice bath together. Let us know on the TPJ, uh, we're going to yeah, cut this knows, up. He knows, he knows. Does he get you in the ice bath, yeah, bro? Let um, us know. But we do a lot of one on one stuff. And yeah. he's, like, he's, he's a smart player. Hmm. He is. And um, just little things that he needs to work on. Cam's so good with him as well. Um, but like, you just got to have that one on one sort of stuff with him because he's, he's, he, he's a thinker. You, you know what I mean? You, you, you always told him he asks heaps of questions. He's very fucking knowledgeable of the yeah, game. He yeah. understands the game. Like, yeah. he just. He's, he, he's on. I think you'll see the best of him in origin. Mm. Well, you know what I want to say as well? And this is when I sort of – the first couple of games, he took a while to sort of get going. But the only sort of concern you had, I remember at the start of the year, was like he should have rested up not played that trial. But yeah. he was too keen mm. and played the trial. You'd love that. That's yeah. the that's the like that's the lesser of two evils when a guy's so keen that he, he takes shit personal, right? Yeah. This he wanted he to be wanted a part to get of back. it. Was what it the Sharks trial? The Sharks trial, he yeah. wanted to get back and get out of Royce Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I said, how about you just get at him in round fucking three when we got him? Yeah, yeah. Um, so this game, you know what I mean? Like, I think mm. the simple reason why he got picked is because 
He went at Tino and he went at Fafita. Mm. They're their two guys. You know what back I mean? Back to back too. Back to back. He went at him. He's not scared of he's not scared of anyone. Yeah. A lot of people are scared of him. He belongs in that origin arena. And we've been waiting for him to arrive for the last three or four years. You know, so I'm glad he got the call up and I'm, you know, he's he's in there now. And I've I've always said, look, the level at Origin is like up here. I want you to come back with that experience and just drive it through these younger kids so you are, so you know what level to get at. When you see the Isaiah Yos, when you see the Payne Haases, when you see the Liam Martins, fucking iron sharpens iron. They go at it all the time. There's never fucking days off. Everyone goes at it. You compete, you compete, you compete. The level never drops. You can't do that. And that's what yep. the great players do. They're never off. The great forwards are never off. So if he can learn that and he can bring that back and can be consistent... He'll be one of the fucking best forwards in the game. Yeah. Because he has that. So now he's gotten he's he's gotten that confidence from Freddie and they're going, here we go, kid. You know what they forget? You know what people forget as well? He had the stint. He didn't play in the grand final. He had the stint at Penrith. So he knows yeah. how to play with Yo. He knows how yeah. to play with Cleary. I think people forgot that sort of combination yeah. up at Carousel. So he's a smart um, player, mate. He's he, took, smart player. He, he did take me so by surprise, and we'll get to selection soon, but um, you got you got his stats for. I got his stats. I think, and the thing is, like, they want to see him play like at least fifty something minutes. I think he played fifty nine minutes in the middle. Um, and his second stint, his was second best, stint was dynamite, which is which is what you want to see. Yeah. That's Jason Tomalolo yes. stuff when he used to come off the bench. Two hundred and ten, two hundred twelve meters, <clears throat> thirty six tackles. I think maybe one miss, so 96 percent effective tackling. Yep. and he made an impact. His runs were fucking hard. There was hardly ever – there was no coming off the back fence like Fodawaker's – I think Fodawaker was outstanding yesterday. Yes, but he was. He fucking runs off the back Fuck fence. He's he gets, year, he gets those meters and all that kind of stuff. They always measure meters in the middle, between the numbers, off the nine, and he made 210 of those meters. He got a couple of kick uh, uh, dropouts, all that kind of stuff. Yep. But majority in the middle going at those big boys. Hey, because don't get it twisted. Fucking it's good pack. The Titans have got a good strong pack. Strong pack, man. They've got a very strong pack. And Reed for him down. to get out there, be our best forward, and and um, complimented by Reed Marnie, he was close. Yeah, he's close. Fuck, but he's so tough. TBJ, I love Reed. yeah. Mate, we'll get. Are we going to talk about that? Just say when they they try to like get Tino with that elbow. Come on, bro. Don't do that. Yeah. Like Tino, like that's a big man on small man. Yeah. Reedy went at him. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Just cop that hit? Yeah. Yeah, man. You get elbow. You, you protect yourself. So yeah. You oh, so you're 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 happy for Tino to get himself, brace himself. Hundred percent. Yes, so am I. Oh, I'm more. Wait, like, and I fucking bro, love you it. come at me like that. You're copping full Boom. brunt, both yeah. elbows in your face. It's not like he extended. Nah, and man. He kept it nice He's and like tight. That nice and tight. Bang! You want to come at him, yeah. mate? Reed, he should have he should have lowered the boom a little bit. Yeah. If you don't do that, that's the fucking punishment. Yeah. Yeah. When you tackle six five motherfuckers like me, yeah. you want to come at me? You're copping everything. That's just in his range. If you don't dip, and Reedy, to his credit, he fucking dog. He's, He's a, a dog. Fucking dog. Anyway. Hey, my dog of the week is Big TPJ, Tamita <laughs> Pangai Jr. Outstanding. Love I, you, boy. I've got your stats here, OG. 19 carries, 213 metres, 74 post-contact metres, um, 3.79. I love that. Quick play of the balls. Anything under four seconds is the grouse. Where are we at? Where are we at? The tackles. 34 tackles, yeah, only one miss. Yeah. But the thing that's is... Good. And, that's unbelievable And, he, and there, was a few, there was a few little chances that he could have lost his shit. Yes. The old TPJ would have fucking... Eyes in the back of the head would have done he's something. Still, he still got would've it. Done, he still got it. He still got it. I knew. I know for a fact when he um first <clears> first couple of first set. Yeah. Like he's boys with Tino and Fafita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like Tino walks past. That's what the shoulder hard. into his chest. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm the same. Like, drops the shoulder. Drops the shoulder. Tino just like, what are you doing? He's just walking straight through you. Were you the same another, when you another, played the boys that 100%. you? Yeah, so I was fucking like, always. Don't you fuck? I couldn't. You're, if you're I couldn't in, hurt him, but I tried. Walking in my way, <laughs> I'm fucking walking through you. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? You know what I mean? And then I saw Fafita. Fafita's like he's like he had. He, they all played together at the yeah, Broncos. Yeah. You look at Tavita like it's he's, he's the OG sort of thing. Tavita always and goes he after. Fucking Dave. goes after Dave. Always. Where Fafita has improved, mm. and I'm like, you know, I think he's, you know, he deserves his spot in the Queensland. But those fucking moments yesterday. Where Freddie would have been gone, he's our dude. He took the first carry off he's the tap. Dude. Max King took the second, and then he took the went third again, and again. went at Dave. So he had took Tino pumped him a little bit. Yeah, Tino got, got him, him, got him, not pumped him, but got him good. Got him. And then the old Tavita would have tried to square it up and go over him again, but it's like, nah, fuck you, I ran at Tino. Yeah. Now I'm going to go at Dave. I love that because yeah. it was controlled. Because yeah, that's all. I'm, that's most of the stuff when I'm talking about. I was waiting for him to lose his shit. Controlled yeah. aggression. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Played your potential. Mm. I said, T, no one can fuck with you, bro. 
You're six, you know, like you're six foot three or four, 112 kilos. You can fucking move like a back. You got skills. You can fucking fight. No one's gonna, no one can fuck with you on your day. Mm. We just want you on your day every week. 100%. So well done, kid. And you get big, big kicks to help him out soon. So hopefully yeah. he's not too far away. Yeah. Um, my body science dog of the week. This is my first ever dog of the week in a losing team. Fuck. Patty. Tough carry again. <laughs> 80 minutes, 19 carries for 181 metres, 60 post contact, mind you, against Penrith, the best defending team in the competition. Three tackle breaks, three offloads, and a season high for anyone in the league, 67 tackles. Oh, my God. With two misses only and zero errors. 67. 67 tackles that taken in me, 80 minutes. That would have taken me four games. Well, there's been there have been games that have gone to 70 minutes, uh, 90 minutes, and people still haven't got 67 tackles. Wow, it was only is, 80 that, a, is that a record? Like, is it? Is it oh, it'd be fucking up there. Um, I'll get Lukey to maybe text us if uh, Lukey, if you can see, uh, it's definitely a record for this year. And he doesn't flop. You're not yeah. going with high marks. No, flops. no, no. He, not yeah. Heinies. Shout out to Heinie. Love you, Heinie. Love you, Heinie. <laughs> <laughs> but Paddy Tough Carrigan, oh, just in time for Origin. Oh, hey, mate. we're talking about it before. We'll get into our markets next week yeah. with the tab, respectfully and responsibly. Jeez, I don't mind Patty Tough Carry. You, well, you're not going to like it, but uh, for the for the play with the Wally Lewis, Wally Lewis, I, I, he's yeah. a good Nick man. I think. Hey, and he, and he's and he's uh, he's two like a who's a one and a a, a b one yeah. a one b for uh, for the Broncos for, for the Broncos. Lighting and Payne yeah, Haas is one a, yeah. and I reckon. He's my man for the Wally Lewis medal. I reckon, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have a little play yeah, on either of them. Let's go. Yeah. Let's we'll have it. a personal bet on the side. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right. Both in. Moving into form. Scopes, the Depressors of round 12. Ricky Stewart. He is the OG of the Depressors. <laughs> I shit you not. I started on Depressors about six years ago, seven years ago, I think, when I was in. Um, in the Super League, I used to like watch highlights of the games. And this is when they first come in and they used to show them after. Like, this is like yeah. when I first started just. Having Loving this it. fetish, <laughs> this proper fetish for fucking depressors. Oh, yeah. it's a thing. And Sticky is the OG, and he didn't let us down. So a lot of people were assuming it was going to be Todd Payton off the back of that performance against the Tigers. Yeah, he had some nice little nuggets in there, but yeah. Ricky, when Ricky is not fucking not feeling it at all, when he's not keen for a depressor, it was over in three minutes. Yeah. He gets him over as quickly as possible. He wants to get through it. One, I've got, I wrote down the one word answers are doom. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll paraphrase a little bit. Basically, with all these questions, oh, here we go. I just got it in. Elijah Elijah Taylor made seventy seven tackles against the Cowboys back in the day. So he was he was the Tigers. He was one off the record. Oh no, sixty seven. Fuck ten off. Yeah, seventy seven. That's unbelievable. Um, I'm tired thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's so fatiguing. I don't even one come, hit up for six meters. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the that's the beauty of Paddy. He had 19 carries. Yeah, I know he's a beast, man. Fuck. Um, so they asked him this long winding uh, uh, question about whether he's disappointed. He goes, "Yeah, it's disappointing." <laughs> Is that and it? then he goes, and and then he goes, um, a, a, a chick reporter tried to ask him and like, because it was going awful. And then he was like, there was a couple of one worders straight after. She's like, try to find a silver lining out of the whole process. And she's like, you know, you'd won five in the row, so you know, is it, you know, find a positive and. Um, you try to get that out of you know this loss, and all the boys get a reality check, and he goes, "No, nah, you don't get many positives out of that." Bang, bang, it's it. And then, every, and then it's sort of like I love it when there's a pause before the next reporter, because then they start getting intimidated to ask a question. Um, and then they ask him about the no, no, the no try, and he just goes, "No, nah, nothing." And they go, "Oh, like, what do you think of the try?" He goes, "Nothing." Yeah, don't get and it. Then, yeah. And they go, "Yo, I, th I thought he was hard down, done by." And they go, "He goes, we'll write it." Nice and simple. But I love it because he's an intimidating man. But like I know Ricky because I've known Ricky for 25, 26 years. Yep. As I said, he and was if you're my good halfback. With him, you're good with he him. was my halfback yep. when I first debuted. That's how old I am. And he was my Australian coach, New South Wales coach, all that kind of stuff. So I have good rapport. But if you're a young, imagine you're a young rookie journo mm. and like working for the ACT, I'd hate, I'd ACT, hate the, whatever the fuck it is called. And then Ricky asks him, Ricky Stewart, that after a loss like that. The difference between. Rod Payton, big Todd Payton's one, yep. is that you got absolutely pumped. You're yep. never in it. You don't even think about the game. You just get on with next week. Can't wait to Yeah, fucking. can't wait. You just you just rub that one out and then – but the Raiders, you look at that first half, they were a better team. He, well, yeah, that was a good they contest a to begin team. with. But um, physic 
physically they are down in Canberra as well. Yep. And they fucking they come out there, and I thought I thought watching the first half, I'm like, yeah. I thought Raiders were going to romp. Yeah, them. same. Yeah. And then Schuster turned it on and turbo. And we'll fucking get to that. ever come a turbo like that. Well, you were coming at him. Are you putting it on me with my origin selection? <laughs> All right, let's get no, into I it. I agree with I agree with you, but I, I understand like well, where no, I was coming because from. I agree with you. Agree yeah, with me, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I. This is it. I'm I'm happy to say when I got it wrong, and in this this is a situation where I needed but to it see could have been the other way. I understand. That. I needed to see this sort of performance, yeah. and so let's get into the the origin selections. Let's start with New South Wales. We talked a lot about uh, Tavita Pangai Junior. Probably the biggest surprise. Yeah. Um, Jakey Freddie said that Jakey's still ca- carrying that calf injury that he took into consideration, and had a chat to Jakey. I think the thought process is they would like to use him later in the series. They just didn't want to risk it for not only Manly, but New South Wales. Just yeah, because those little grade ones he can didn't be, finish, can he didn't be finish grade, the game. Can be grade two, and that's four to six weeks. That's origin. Yeah. So that's smart. Um, the other big one. So obviously, yeah, do you want to talk more about TPJ going straight into the starting lineup? Do you think he'll start or come off the bench? I had a good chat with the eighth today. Yeah. And we're just talking about his tendencies and what he, how he likes to be coached, how he likes to play. And um, obviously, he's be playing with the best of the best this week. You know, and I would prefer him to be the ball. He can be the ball runner. He doesn't have to be the Isaiah. Yeah, we've got Isaiah there. We've got Cam Murray. Yeah. You've got to be that destructive person for 20, 22 minutes, 23 minutes, and you just got to go nuts. Everything just like high energy. He, he'll, he'll, he will match anyone's energy. Yeah. Physically, everything like that. So like, do you, do you I think would he'll start him? Or you would, you would start I would, him? I would want to start him. Okay. I would I'd really want to start him. So he I, is I named think to I think that they'll start Tino. So yeah, because Tino's named on the bench, isn't he? Yeah, I think they'll start him in front of Lindsay Collins. Okay, just just for that yeah, power. There'll definitely be late changes. Yeah, for there sure. will be, and I just think, yeah, and I think it'll go off if they do start Tino. Then they'll start TPJ. Yeah, it'll go off that because he's going to go. He's their guy. He's their guy. He's their enforcer, and I think with uh, the way that. Brad Fittler coaches and the way that he talks to him, he'll be fucking installing that and that's all he needs. Install some confidence into him and he'll fucking go to the end of the earth with you. I, do, I, don't, think it's, I don't think it's about confidence. I just think it's about like just making sure that it's directed, all his aggression yeah. is, is, yeah. is directed but like, to if the it's right either, you just, place. It's either one off the nine or if he comes, you know those that beautiful play when Isaiah Yo can just bounce out, start at A, bounce out to C. Drop, drop. He either drop drops him or he fucking hits yeah. him because he runs those beautiful lines just say if you got on the right, just say on your right, at, you're at the right post, right? Yep. And you got Isaiah Yo, he goes in, bang, he gets to the Kick C out. man, and then fucking Pangai's starting on the four, and then he breaks real late, and then you got Cleary coming. You got to fucking, you got to put your body in front. Yeah. And then you got Cleary, or you got Teddy out the back with another block, with another, it's fucking near unstoppable, mm. especially if that. That decoy runner if is one hundred percent. That's off the back of a pain has play the ball, right? Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, think yeah, of it like go. that. There you go. Twenty meters out. Yeah. Boom. Uh, Isaiah Yo gets the ball close to the markers, steps to the C. He's outside C. The four man comes in, clears out the back. Fuck mate. And then you got the bang. fucking the left side back roller. Two Who pass. you got? Uh, it'll be so they've got uh, Frizz. Frizz will play right, Frizz. and it'll be Hudson Young. Hudson Young bl- yeah. runs a great line. He's going to be pl- pl- playing like that, and then you, mate, boom, 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 could be tried because those guys are running decoys, and that's where you got to use him. Hit him early, get him off the nine, all that kind of stuff. Play to his strengths. Boom, boom, He's boom. Got the only reason why Fox he, in the corner, when, yeah, first Fox try, in, yeah, exactly. That's how that's how it can work, especially if it break it down at the right post. Mm. Because if you can get if you get if you can have Cleary and all that on the right side, and then a movement real late with Teddy in that, that's yeah. how they get that fan shape come <laughs> all point. the way out. And then Fox is just holds his Fox holds holds the paint. Fucking easy try. Sounds easy, but when it's executed at a high level, that's why Origin is fucking hard. You got to execute because oi, guess what they're doing in defenses? Fucking trying to kill Isaiah Yo because they don't want Isaiah to get out. They Can't don't want that. Isaiah to get out to the C man mm. because that's what'll happen. If they don't have inside pressure from the marker and from A and B, then you're fucked. Another bulldog we just mentioned him before. The fox back yeah. in must be super proud of him as well. I'm so proud of him. I'm spewing. I mean, like last week we I didn't put him in the side because I didn't think that he was going to play. Yeah, but the kid. I mean, he's just not that. He's not a sort of trainer that's going to train like a forward. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. gotta train it. We, we train in the middle. We just go hard. It's like you and he's on the wing. Yeah. He's on the wing. He's fucking just fucking around. <laughs> I'm like, 
I, don't, I didn't think that he was going to play. Yeah. I honestly didn't. Like yeah. this time last week. He did, he did look like he was still hobbling for yeah, sure. Yeah, he was. And I'm like, I was like. But he can still hobble and score two He tries. can hobble and then he just comes out of the fucking blocks and he was flying. I was like, <laughs> geez, he's ready. And he deserved, he deserved, to be last, they deserved to be there last year. He wasn't. Right? That's a credit to that's a credit to him. That's Big game plays amazing. Do that. Mace, that's amazing. You know that better than anyone. Yeah. Bust the, the top tier players, they look busted at training all week. You're like, fuck, I don't think he's gonna be able to go. Yeah. And he goes and puts a performance we like had that. Conversations yeah. as, co- as coaching yeah. staff, we're like, do you reckon he's ready to go? Is he mm. ready to go? <laughs> we're like, well, obviously he is. Yeah. But he can do that. And he's ready for the big stage, mate. And it was indigenous round, and it means a hell of a lot to him. But for him to come back, even missing out on Origin last year, yep. getting a call up to play in the World Cup, killing the World Cup, killing it, coming back, starting the year off well, having an injury for – it was a six-week injury. He got back in four. Yep. Come back, play this well, and for them to have the confidence to pick him in there, I fucking love it. It's great. Congrats, Fox. Well done, Fox. Obviously, uh, the other one who's made the comeback is Tyson Frizzell. Uppy Coruscant goes to start. Yeah. He beats out Cookie. Um, so congrats to Frizz. A couple of years been out of origin. Yes, I was um, surprised good, with this. Good, yeah, good to see him back in. He's been really good nick actually for the Knights. Yeah. I just thought maybe it had passed him by. Well, and once they, they, they sort start of looking at younger they, guys. Yeah, they don't pick you for Ola a was the big one. Um, he was yeah. he was a big he was a big omission for me. Um, I thought he'd be he could be sort of using that Tavita role as well. But yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate Frizz in there. And uh, congrats to him as well. Now Frizz is an origin player. Mm. You know, um, I know Hudson Young hasn't been tested, but I think he can he could easily hand, he's going to easily handle that that level. Um, Liam Martin, but you still don't know who's going to start. Do you know what I mean? Like Liam Martin could easily start. You know, yeah, Cam Murray could easily start. You know what I mean? There's a lot of starters there. Like Hudson Young could come off the bench. They've got very good versatility. Like it's very versatile. Name. It's a very versatile pack. You know, Frizz could come off the bench. Liam Martin could start. You both can. You, they're very impactful players. Liam Martin's come off the bench. Frizzell could come off the bench. He's got great leg speed. He can play in the middle. Cam Murray could play everywhere. You can plug and place these back rows in the front row, in the back row, and even at lock. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, even if Isaiah needs a break, you put Cam Murray on, and then you can put Liam Martin at the right edge, and then just you could just it's so you know you can you can do a lot of things. I wouldn't I wouldn't even be surprised with um, obviously Nico gets the fourteen. Congrats to Nico. He's going to make his origin debut. That yep. was a big one. And Luai retains the six. I wouldn't be surprised if Cam Murray doesn't play a little bit of hooker for a spell. Easily, yeah, 10, 15 Man, minutes yep. if um, if Uppy needs a break. Just depends. Yeah, doesn't de- necessarily de- have to be Nico. Depends how the game goes. 14. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nico's not coming on there just to play. Like to I play, think he'll play to Rogan play 13. He can just play wherever he wants. Yep. Like he just He's not going to come over there. You're not going to give Luai a rest and put him at six. He's just going to go, all right, just go on for yep. one of the middles. You know, Isaiah Yo needs a break. You know, like, and that's the thing I think with um, – like I, I got it wrong last week. I thought, yeah, Cook, I thought, give him another chance. And I left Appy out. I, you I, know, and I, I was because like, who do I leave out? Because I'm not leaving Nico Hines out. It was either Cook or Appy. So Appy, I should have been smarter. And been, Appy got him out of the – position last year and he didn't make the World Cup. That's so a fair point. I just, thought, I just point. thought that they would be a little bit more loyal because of the fact that he's been one of our best for the last four years. But obviously they're going in another direction. Whenever New South Wales play well, Cookie's always playing yes. playing well from so. Kills it. so that, it was, that's it was, what I was thinking. It was, that's a, what I was thinking. it was a flip of the coin. And yeah. and uh, I seen that Freddie said that was one of his tougher decisions out of probably him who asked Jakey was a tough call because he had to make that call and say, look, you know, he's, he's still a little bit banged up. Um, Crichton as well. Crichton was been. He's a. Yep. He Crichton been hard to miss out. Yeah, Crichton's thereabouts. I think is it Campbell Graham and Campbell Graham just dropped out as and well. And Stefano, uh, eighteen nineteen. Am I? Uh, I think Campbell Graham just he's um he has an injury. Okay. So he's out of the squad. Yep. All right, moving on to the Queensland. The biggest news probably of the entire Origin. Mm. Billy Slater goes with Reese Walsh over KP Mace. This Thoughts. Is, well, this is us going last week. Yep, that one game. Got KP back in, yeah, and then I'm like, this one game got him out. You think it, you think it played a massive part? Yep. The f- not not only the obviously the concussion, he comes back on, scores straight away, so he seemed to be sweet. Yeah, but um, just him being in the front line and mm. getting that head knock, and then having you know, because it's like a boxer getting knocked out, right? So yeah. he's like, he's I'm not sure what position you're going to play him. I would, I'm always saying playing fullback anyway, so he's not in the front line. Yeah, because you know attackers just they're trying to get at him. Get at him because he's he's a tough he's a tough little bastard. So he's going to put his body in front all the time. Explain to people when someone's just like for people who don't realise like if you're in a position and you've got and I've said this to you before, he, Lachlan Fitzgibbon is is a 
really mm. good. He's a good back row, but he's not. A, he's not a protector. He, he ain't Tony Carroll. Yeah, he's not Tony Carroll. You'd almost prefer to have Tyson Frizzell yeah. over there next to um, KP. But yeah. you know, and when you get an opportunity and you're lined up next to Fitzgibbon and you you know you pick and choose your spots, mate, she played. So edge. who got? So who got, who got? Who got him? Uh, it was a winger, actually. So it was a winger. Mm, so, was, they, was so, they, so they kicked that way. Yeah. So they kicked that way. It was the, uh, the, the winger, in, winger in or something like that. And then the centre or the winger bounced all the way. Was Jesse Ramian? in? Ramey in? No, because Connor Watson played. No. It, just, it might have been Jesse Ramian. Anyway. It was someone. Anyway. It, or it was Mulatalo or some, yeah, someone like yeah, that. Yeah. It was someone who could bounce past all their middles and then pass Fitzgibbon and then get one-on-one -on -one with KP. That should never happen. Yeah. You got to protect him. You know what I mean, like, and then if he's going to be in the front line, because as a six, he would. It was that little bit, little bit of a, a crease there, which which Mulatalo or whoever got at got at him found. Yeah, fucking should never get past Fitzgibbon. Yeah, and I he agree. should like the, you know, sometimes you get you're going to get past the middles, but you're not going to get past your four men, so we can square up and go straight into KP. That should never be done. Mm. Not if you uh, try. Good luck trying to get at Lockie in two thousand fucking six. With Tony Carroll sitting there, 100%. he will pump you, and you're never going to get at him. So do you reckon so you him can't go out? And he fucking saw the crease and went straight at him. KP's already KP's already sitting on his on his uh, in his chair, just mm. thinking oh, he's not going to get to me. Oh fuck, he got to me! Bang! Fucking bad defense, mate. You got to protect. You got to protect him. So do you reckon the reason that he didn't make it this year is that is because he's at six? Yep. I because he, I because he's at six. Sure. Yep. One hundred percent. You got to pick a fullback who's got the like. I know. I know. No doubt he can handle that. Mm. He comes off the bench sometimes. He plays in the front line sometimes. Mm. You got to eat like, but you can't do that now with Harry because you got Harry Grant and the Ben Hunt combination. Yeah. So you can't. So you're ruling one of them out. Reese Walsh plays every single game. Plays eighty minutes and has been the probably the form fullback of the whole comp. That's fair. So we yeah. I was just going with the old Queensland, you know, pick and stick. We won last year. KP was one of our best players. We're not going to really fuck around with the whole team. You know, they have. We're going to get to the Tabuai Fido. Mm. Get the hammer in there mm. in front of Gags. Can you imagine, which I hope is going to happen, Walsh drops a couple of bombs. Walsh drops a couple of bombs and he's out of position and fucking gay and uh, the hammer gets smoked by fucking Turbo. Trell. He'll be on Trell. Trell, whatever. Yeah. Pick your fucking poison. Either. Two of the best. Yeah. So he's going to go against Trell and Trell's on fire at the moment and I've never seen, I understand, I think Hammer is a talent but he's played 60 games of first grade. Mm. I think probably about maybe 15 of those off the bench last year you wouldn't even count. Every other game. Bench games don't count. Not when you... <laughs> They count. They count. You know, you know they count. You know they count. But not fucking five minutes. <laughs> not for five minutes when you I'm come on and you come in, you come in on whatever position. Yeah. So it was like, I think it was about 15 or 20 off the bench last year. All before that, the, probably the 40 games before that, yep. fullback, wing. And well, I've never seen him don the three or four for more than fucking maybe one or two games. Whoa. Now you're coming into the toughest arena against one of the most aggressive motherfuckers in the game. Proper dog at that level. Good luck. Well, this is what would have played a part, right? We, we keep referring back to this. Game three, the series was done, mind you. 2-0 New South Wales. They go play up in Townsville, I believe, was for game three. Mm. And Queensland get the job done off the back of a strong performance of Hamaso playing centres against Tommy Turbo 2021. Tommy Turbo. Yeah, but he's going against the troll. I know, but 2021 Turbo was fucking yeah. 2021 Turbo. And the thing so is, that's, that's for sure played a part. I don't think they like the matchup with Gags and Trell because... Have a look what Gags did to Trell in 2021. I mean, what Trell did Gags. Yeah, Trell killed it in 2021. It wasn't, wasn't good. It mm. wasn't good. So um, Gags has been one of the best origin that players. That would have been a he's tough still, conversation, it's a cut, It would have been tough because Gags, Gags wing or centre or whatever it is, you, you just need to pick him because he rises to the occasion. And he's been playing pretty good for Newcastle. That would have been a really tough call for, for Bill. Yeah. But I'm saying it's not a good matchup with uh, Trell because Trell and Gags, bruh, if you seen like even when they were playing for just say the three years they, uh, that Gag spent at South and the way they used to play at Origin, mm. it's like they fucking wanted to kill each other. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, and Troll takes that shit serious, bro. Yeah, like yeah. he's like he gets he gets tribal, man. He's the same as TPJ. When he mm. plays someone that he's mates, mates he with, fucking or played goes, with him, he fucking goes he goes harder. harder. Yeah. And it's like and then you, and you catch people slipping like yeah. fuck. I thought we were, I thought yeah. we were friends. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. People we're on the outside friends. go, oh, do they not like each other? Yeah. Oh no, they. That's that's when you can tell that yes. he likes him. It's the ultimate respect. It's the ultimate respect, yeah. Yep. And it's like I saw that and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's matchups, you know, like, you know, who are you going to have? Who are you going to have on Trell? I mean, I mean, who are you going to have on Turbo now? I Val will Holmes. just say. You're going to have Val Holmes. Short, 
And who's on the left wing? Taolangi? Yeah, Murray. Short. Magic Murray. Cobo on the right with Hamaso. So you got on our right side, you got uh so you got the Fox and you got Turbo. It'll, it'll be no, I reckon it'll be Toto. Toto on the right? Toto and Turbo. Yeah, because Toto's been playing right right wing for um Penrith the last two years as well. Okay. They're both Toto's very versatile. He plays left, he plays left something. He's played left in 2021, 20 He did, right? So Toto was playing left winger at the time for Penrith, so he played on the left wing, but he also plays left and you know right. What I love about him, he doesn't who cares? It doesn't matter. The whole Penrith thing, whether you play Crichton, left, right, Matty Burton, whether he plays centres, 5'8", they play all over the shop but in that back line. I would Penrith. love for him to play left because of his play twos because he's a right he's a right arm carry. Yep. You, it just depends because if Fox is coming out of that left corner with his, and he's a right arm carry as well, he can't really bust out there. Well, you know what I, I it's like? fucking hard because I, I think that's what they'll be gaming plan for. I prefer him on the right for this uh, defensively. Fox? Defensively. No, I prefer... Dot on the right defensively because the yes. majority of the flow always comes to the left. And I reckon to- I one, of, one of Toto's most underrated parts of his game is the defence with him and Stephen Crichton. They are fucking so good on that I right think edge. Trell and Fox work better together. Mm. And Trell's a gun exactly. defender. Exactly. exactly. I, I agree so with you. So I think Toto mm. – and, you know, it's not – you know, this is origin. Turbo's going to get a fucking fair bit of ball. Okay. Now let's get back to Queensland. Somehow we got on New South Wales there. I don't know. Um, I will say I this just know. before we move off Walsh. I know you always want to get back to New South Wales. Uh, you know what I thought when as soon as made, he made the decision I found out yesterday, I was thinking about it a little bit more. You, you'll know this. It'll, I'll sink in as soon as I say it. Do you reckon Walshy reminds Billy a lot of himself? A little bit. I Do you know, like, he's like a Matty Bowen. He's a, he's a Billy Slater, Matty Bowen clone. But think about this, right? As great as Billy Slater was, he had, a, he had a heaps of shit about him, right? So like Walshy's couple of efforts in the last couple of weeks, whether they've been good or bad when they're travelling, just... By, mo- by no means necessary saving tries. So I'm talking about um, the try that he stopped against, uh, was it Tessie New yeah. in the Dolphins game? Body in front, bang. The Juzzy Olam, good, yeah. the Juzzy Olam shoulder barge. Like uh, I think there was a, a, a try where he come and slid over in South, the Rabbitohs games South. and they picked him up and they dragged him out, but he got himself in that position. I reckon a big part of his selection this year is how well Walsh he's defended, mm. where a lot of people will be looking at his tack and a big question mark on Walshy over the last couple of years at, at the Warriors has been, you know, he'd get isolated at A, close to the line, and and uh, because it's, the Warriors were always getting rolled, mm. I think people saw him as a poor defender. I think his defence has been a big reason why he's been picked. I think, just say, digressing to the Warriors' defence, their middles weren't good defenders. Correct. The whole and systems was, were out yeah, of play Yeah, their that system time. was fucking awful. Everyone's improved if, at the Warriors, if he's, if, he's play, he's if he's playing there now, it's a whole different, it's a whole different system because I think – what the Andrew Webster has, he's got the same system as Penrith. Yeah, they work hard together and all that kind of stuff. So like from inside out, they hunt well. They're doing everything well. The last year team was just fucking diabolical. Mm. Yeah. Um. So he, what he's working with now at Brisbane, Payne Haas, Carrigan, Flegler, fucking great middles. Yeah. He's and working work his hard out. together, and he's and he doesn't have to be sitting at that that they go, call it ghosting, right? Yep. So he sits there. He Soft don't day. move. He don't move until the ball's passed. Yep. And then he's sli- and then he's on his bike big time. He's put on some weight too, man. And the golf man, show as well. Look at his fucking quads, man. He's fucking thick as. He's built. Come in, you know when you you know we catch that embrace and then you're like, it's sometimes it's like, all right, you, you got NRL players and then you got NRL yeah. players. You know the difference, AOG. Exactly. You feel it like the difference is me and you. If you fucking dab up OG, you can feel like, oh shit, yeah, that's fucking that's OG. And then you dab up me and you go, yeah, 120 game. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like I like Walsh. I yeah. like Walsh, and yeah. I think he could be that X factor. But now now I look at the crossfield kits and just those mid range kicks with Turbo coming in this way. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. You know what I mean? There's going to be a Latrell lot of pressure on him coming in this way, like big bodies. But they'll be trying to jump over him. Mm. So just say if they get an attacking kick from 40 out, yeah, and they'll just fucking put it up. Take about a little 10, bit off. Like this is what Cleary can do. Yeah, about 10 meters out. Like he'll put it ten meters out, so dime. you can fucking jump, get the ball, catch it, mm. like Avrillo did. I don't mm. know how the fuck he caught that. That was outstanding. This is like they were trying to like compare little things. You're catching Burton's bomb. He's and the best tor- keeper of all time. And it was it a torpy. Was torpy. Clinton torpy. <laughs> but like that, that is That's one, one of the, of the best greatest. Ca- that is unbelievable. Don't I'm get it you. twisted. In fact, they they went to Greg Brentnell and all this and and one of talking these about tries the Fox try in nineteen eighty and Fox's try. I'm like, no fucking Cup. way. That was the hardest. That was fucking way harder. Degree of difficulty. Fucking Abs just went bang, caught it in stride, a forty meter torpy. That's unbelievable. I'm That's telling you, man. I, I, I said this to you a couple of times. 
He's got or, he's got origin potential over LA, bro. Has he just a gun. He's just got it. Like he just looks like. Even when he scores that try, I know we're getting a little bit off topic. We'll get to it. He just rats like it was nothing. <laughs> it's like it was normal. I'm like, everyone's like, fuck, you were more excited yeah. than him. Do you you were more like, excited than after the game. Goes, yeah, Brad? Abs. When he carved up against the George, yeah, Abs. And he's just like, yeah. 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 <laughs> he needs to get a little bit of fucking dog yeah, about him. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's, he's only young. Hopefully he just grows. But he's, but just, he's just naturally an introvert. He's yep. just one of those kids. And hopefully, you know, yep. like he just. That's fine. He can grow in like confidence. There will be confidence this year. Then he'll sort of grow into his conversation. Like just having a conversation with him little bit more in depth but we just need the comms to be elite yeah you know what i mean he's just sort of you know that, that's that's all well, if, if, if the knock on if the knock on you is like you don't talk enough yeah come on, man. yeah you, you just, you just it's lesser work. of you two just evils need, you just need to work on that it's not like you're the worst defender you're the worst attacker it's like you just need to talk more yeah. and you'll play for australia yeah actually Stephen crichton did get the 18th man too so he's yeah. he's covering up uh, over campbell graham so he'd be he'd be feel hard done by all right, last one. We mentioned him a little bit before. David Feeder, he is in. But I listened to Billy Slater. Apparently, it's only because no, well, there were reports, and they asked Billy about it that uh, he was still fifty-fifty. But uh, the Felice Cavusi um, brain fucking snap. Yeah. I don't know what Felice was thinking, man. Way too aggressive. But that's cost him Origin, and then obviously now David Fafita is coming to the side. He probably would have been thereabouts anyway, but. Um, well deserved. He's he's he been would. grinding. I thought now. he would. Like I mean, I thought he deserved his spot. Mm. He worked his ass off for it. He played tough. He did everything that they wanted him to do. His whole goal this year is to get his Origin spot back. Yep. Got to play tougher, kid. He did everything. He's been doing everything. He's been coming off the short side. He's been Involved playing those. He's he's been playing those play ones, copping those hits, running beautiful lines on the edge, defending good. All those little things that you want. Working hard in defense. Yep. You know, don't just sit there and just like not moving up. All these little things where if you do that, you take those little plays off in Origin, they'll expose you. Yeah. And I think he's done all those things to correct his defensive deficiencies no one gives a f his attack is ridiculous and he's going to expect you know that fucking chopping block that i was telling you about head on the block his head will be there yeah but he's got to embrace that because it's a bit harder to have head on the block in origin because there's so many hit, every everyone, head, everyone's, everyone's head's, heads on the block, block. <laughs> you know what i mean like but but he's he's that guy he can turn the game if you were to by himself if you so, all right i've got two options for you so if you go um Non-negotiable one guy we have to stop for Queensland is it in the forwards? No, is it Cameron Munster or is it Paddy Carrigan? Carrigan, it's Carrigan. You reckon? Yeah, yeah the go. Because if I'm for, if I'm I'm just talking from a forward base, I see. I'm stop. talking about as a team. Mm, that's a bit different. Yeah, we well, just got. I mean, I, I think if you if you stop Carrigan, you stop Munster. Because if you can go out inside pressure from Carrigan, because Carrigan's going to try and emulate Isaiah. Yo. Yeah, but he's got he's. He runs a little bit more than Isaiah. You know what I mean? But if you, so if you can put those inside pressure, because no one's going to be doing that, because Flegler doesn't go, do it good, mm. and neither does um, Tino, mm. and neither does um, – who's the other prop? Uh, Collins, Lindsay Collins. Lindsay Collins. Yep. It's both very, very telegraphed. It's not natural. Where Carrigan does it pretty natural, but he does it really good at Brisbane because he's got Payne Harsh running those decoys. Yep. He's got Reese Walsh coming out the back. He's got Adam Reynolds. You know what I mean? So oh, obviously you've got fucking – uh, uh, DCE and, and yep. Munster, but depends where they play DCE. Because Carrigan loves the block plays on the left side of the field. You've got to stop Munster. You've got to stop Munster, <laughs> but if you put inside Even pressure, if you put inside pressure yeah. and make sure fucking Carrigan is getting buried every time he passes a ball, he'll be fine. And then you know those he's not hitting the front guy, and then you can come in there and hunt, bang, and get it, Munster. Make Carrigan pass a little bit earlier. Boom, you get it, Munster, a little bit earlier. But I've That's the pressure. I've I've seen I've seen, I've seen yourself I've, I've, I've seen yourself I was pump Queensland for sixty minutes and then Munster does I something know, like I know I where do they come hate from? It. I they're don't they're know. on the back foot because he doesn't fucking he's, he's a freak <laughs> Munster. I love I love money, yeah. but I'm just saying to 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 nullify Munster. Yeah, you need to fucking be it's dominant. Such a good matchup. Dominant yeah. in the forwards, Hoz. Mm. You know what I mean? He can only do so much when it's he's, he's dangerous in broken field play yeah. and off offloads and all that kind of stuff. So you just got to stay on top of him. Non-stop, non-stop on top of him. Yep. All right, um, we'll, we'll look forward to it. We'll break it down a little bit more. We'll put some bets on next week as well, leading into Origin and more of Sorry, that. Sorry, what a Kafusi. I mean, like, what was he thinking? 
I got we'll to get to the, the Dolphins to game. We'll get to the Dolphins game. I'll, I'll, I'll chat a little bit. I think he, them boys, him and Kenny, Welsh? got a little bit. Did he want to? Did he just? It looked like, like it, Welsh? but I because that was like like that wasn't like a normal when he who did he pump before that? Um, he got fucking Penne. Did he get pa- Penne or was it someone else? Yeah, it was Penne. Was it Penne? Aaron Penne, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> and yeah. then and then he just got me. He just couldn't help it. And he, he missed because he missed Penne. He didn't he get him clean. So then fucking. he tried to come and get <laughs> Welsh, and then he kept trying to get Welsh. Fuck, I love it. Uh, I've got a proposal for you for the bunker. All so right. give it to me. I've put a little bit of thought in this. A couple of punters have helped me out with this as well. Mm-hmm. Got me thinking. Got me thinking about the rugby TMO. So ah, okay. What is the biggest? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer my question as well. But what, in my opinion, the biggest problem with the bunker is what consistency, right? Across the board, you see one game ruled a certain way by one person in the bunker. And then another – and and it happens with refereeing as well. It happens at both levels, whether it's the on-ground referee or the bunker. I think they should specialise the bunker's position. So the bunker is at NRL headquarters. Lock in, pay them more money, lock in three people. So there's three people in the bunker, I believe. There's a, a guy that's in charge and then he's got two people watching. And, two and blind people. Two blinders. Yeah, they're 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 searching for stuff that he potentially could miss, but apparently one guy's in control. I want to see them and pay him well for this. Over every single game, every week, every every day, or every game, every round. So what that what that gets rid of is just say for instance Ashley Klein was the bunker in on the Thursday night game, and then he ended up refing on the Friday night game, and then. A couple of days later, I'm listening on Sunday to the game of the Tigers. Ben and Cummins. Not Somewhere. Ben Cummings. It's the the chick who was with Badger, Badger's missus, Casey Badger. And it's not a knock against any of them individually. I think all of them are a bit frazzled at the moment, whether it be the bunker or on-field referees. So I would simplify it. I would even lock in less referees because I don't think the quality across the board's great with the eight referees that would they've you got. Would put ex-players in there? Not ex players, I just find my four or five best and rotate them. So what you do, so what they I believe they do at the moment is they just say, if you ref on a Thursday night, you might do a bunker on like a Saturday or Sunday. That's you can sometimes hear um, uh, what's his name? Grant Atkins might be a video referee one one on one day, just say like a Thursday or Friday yeah. night in a given week, and then he's refereeing on a Saturday or Sunday. I would specialize the bunker position. Lock in my three, get them to bunker every game. What does that do, Mace? His perception and his interpretation of whatever consistent. that rule would be consistent. would be consistent because you don't then don't have Ashley Klein r- ruling on his um, whether let's let's go the simplest form offhand goers try, whereas it's uh, the grounding of the yeah. ball. There are rules around it, but there's also what comes in. It's subject- subjective as well. Some of them are fifty fifty. So what you do is if you have the same group. In the bunker from Thursday to Sunday, a group of three. Yeah, that's a lot of work, but fuck it. This is the NRL. Pay them right to get the decisions right. And I would cut down the referee. And I would make sure I have the best referees refereeing every week. Because they are, in my opinion, they're frazzled. I think they're overwhelmed. So I'd have just say, whoever your best referee, in my opinion, Grant Atkins is the best referee at the moment. Uh, and there are a couple. I think Ashley Klein is fucking frazzled. I think he's all over the shop. I I go back to that um, decision he made last week against the Sharks, where he gave Manly mm-hmm. back the ball, uh, and then for Adam G to be the on-field referee on Thursday night and tell Ash to have a look at it again because he clearly missed everything that that's disrespectful. Well, his his job's on the line, mate. I'm just saying. I'm being like that's like refs are getting refs are getting sacked. Yeah, they're, but I'm saying like for, for a ref to call you out just like when you're supposed to be the number one ref in the game, it's like mate. Well, yeah, check, check yourself. So here's my second point. You know what I mean? Like, so cool. the rugby union, right? The TMOs, they communicate with each other. So it's like there's dialect in between them, right? Like so he that. might go, I like it as well. So that's why I liked what Adam G did, even though. Uh, probably Ashley Klein won't like it because it probably didn't put That's him... That's what I mean. It looks disrespectful. It but didn't make him look good. good. But it fucking good for the game. It was the correct decision. Yeah. It was the correct decision. So potentially if you have consistency with the same three people in the bunker every week, depending on fucking whether they yeah, get yeah, sick or whatever, you have, you have your main one, your main two and your main three, and then you have a rotation of six referees that... Um, you and may, you get you, paid extra... 
Yeah, of course. You get it paid because I think it'll be all under one umbrella. If whatever you're getting paid as a ref, I, I think agree. I think that that covers the bunker in that. They're splitting the I work. Think, yeah, I think they should be just getting paid. If you're doing the bunker, here's an extra two grand. Yes. Something like that. Then you probably put a little bit more extra work into it. Ooh. I like the fact sometimes the NFL and the NBA, they've always got like some sort of uh, ex-referee around there explaining to the public. I know they're not going to do that. We, he doesn't have he doesn't have any um, he doesn't make the decisions, but he explains to everybody. Every home, NFL game. Yeah, every NFL game. What do you think about this? And Dean he explains Blandard. it. Like, they were doing that a little bit with Bill Harrigan a little bit, but it didn't really fucking work. Yeah. But, I don't know, like, they, had, they, they can sort of, sort of do that. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. It's yeah. fucking hard, but all we want is consistency. Yeah, so I want consistency. So, um, do, you like you, the, do, you do you like have, the... Do you like the comments? That just say, like, have some guy who has an, an idea. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And I, I, it's on NFL and NBA all the time. Yeah, so you don't and have to it, listen to these fucking idiots who commentate. Indication. But it also makes them look bad on the odd occasion that they do go the other way. The thing, the difference between the NFL and the rugby league, though, so is... So I don't have to listen to Dan Ganeen. <laughs> you get... Dan, Dan Ganeen's Dan competent. Dan right? mate, he's fucking awful. <laughs> you're getting if you, if you were being commentator, you'd be looking at him and go, is that the, is that the level you got to get at? Oh, fucking kill that guy. <laughs> God, it's terrible. It does um, my head. That's why I watch it on mute. Go. But the difference between NFL and NRL is there's so many stoppages that they really take their time to get it right. I will say I would like the main referee. So, love you, Dan. Love you, Dan. <laughs> Heaps. To do two games a week. So instead of having a drop-off between the fifth, sixth, seventh referee, if you do Thursday night and you're the best referee and we want you on Thursday and Friday nights, fuck it, do a Saturday and Sunday. Because the quality of refereeing across Damn the board boy. is taking a dip. I also don't think it's completely their fault. I think with all these rule changes and interpretations, it's making it fucking ultra confusing for them and the fans and the commentators and for all of us watching. So simplify it. Give me the same three pay in the bunker. Pay them more. And pay the best referees more I'm and they sure do two games a week. I'm not sure what they're getting paid, right? But, yeah, surely everyone else is getting paid a fair bit in, in this whole game. The refs are going to eat as well. Mm. So, like, just, if, just say if you've got eight of the best refs, it's got to be like you got, it's got to be the best of the best. We can't have these other guys that are just fucking the game up. Yeah. So I'm with you. Yeah. Bring it down. Bring it down. All right. Speaking of the best of the best, the Broncos played Panthers for the first game of round 12. 4.15 and a lot of people if you didn't watch the game you're thinking fuck that might have been a stinker it was fucking grouse mm. um, Mace just both super, I wrote down both teams are super impressive and uh, Defense, I think man. separating Defense. themselves yes, with the Rabbitohs even though the Rabbitohs lost as probably the, the two or three mm. main teams that can take this fucking competition out they can I think uh, the Broncos defence is outstanding mm. yeah they've got it all once they, if they put it all together they're going to be hard to beat. They're going to be very, very Panthers hard to beat. Panthers were coming consistently. Panthers just don't stop. They do everything. We've, I just thought they would have come back just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit with Appy gone. Yeah. Especially with Kicks gone. But fucking Hoskins, they all just work for each other Mitch so Kenny. hard. Mitch Kenny sort of finding himself. Yeah. You know, the little Sony Luke's coming on. Their roles. He's the, like their roles have changed a fair bit. That yep. No one's going to emulate. No one's going to play like Appy. No one's going to play like Kicks. And they realise that but they still have such a high standard in what they do. And that in Cleary and Luai, it's just – Luai is just playing fucking lights out, isn't he? Yep. And, and what about Crichton, Liam, Toto, Liam Martin? Liam Scrabble. Martin, Edwards, you know what I mean? Like they've just got – they've got that team, man. And yeah. I'm like, if anyone can go three in a row, I'm not surprised. I'm not going to be surprised if they go three in a row mm. or if they get to a grand final. I think, yeah. I th it's going to be it's fucking hard. You're going to have to be on your game. To get these guys off, to get them, to get them in that prelim when they know they've been there for four years in a row, mm, and they're like, they're "You're gonna it. get us? Do yeah. you reckon you'll get us, South? You have to get us. Yeah, you better be on that. South, we're not gonna South, South, be like, South would be like, "Fuck, I hope we're on the other side, so yeah. we can get them." So all all the fucking marbles are in on that last game. Yeah, you know, same, you know, like same as the Brisbane Broncos. You don't want these guys in a prelim, no, because they're gonna get they you. will get they're there. gonna get you. They'll get to the prelim, yeah, and you don't want to get them easy. Um, I still thought the Broncos were super impressive, uh, especially with Reynolds being out. Um, yes. They just that's that's, that's the only the main, thing they're that's missing. That's the main thing mm. is Reynolds. Like he's worth he's worth eight points. Yeah, every single game he's goal kicking and he's and he usually sets up a couple of tries, all that kind of stuff. He's those little short kicking game near the line. Mm. Like he puts doubt in the fullback's mind. He's he can fucking pass. He holds it up. He goes into the line real good. You know, like in you know who's the seven that's been there? Jock Madden. Jock Madden. He he's was doing like, a job, man. Yeah, he's he, doing a job. Yeah. You know, if anything happens in, you know, like in 
deep into the semi-finals or something, you put Jock in there. He's going to get a job done, but then you'll be like, Broncos are done. No, you need Jock Broncos Madden to play against the Tigers. No, the, I know, I know, yeah, I know that. Can we give him some games when we're fucking playing against yeah. the lower, the, you don't lower, play the, Penrith. the bottom four? Yeah. He's playing against the best defensive side in the last four years, and he's still going all right. Yeah. But he just needs reps against fucking someone else. Super, Anyone else. But super impressive by yeah. Penrith. Both it's teams. Cl- just clinical. Yeah. Like they just don't miss a beat. Like when they're in that grind, they just – they don't stop. No, they don't. They love it because they they they, they rely on their back five so good. Just say if you have a look at Leota and you look at Isaiah Yo, Fisher Harris, they're walking back probably 10, 10 12, 15 metres max. Yeah. And this is play three and they're already there. Yeah. So what you try and do is you want your middles on play three. Yeah. They're always there. And, and they don't have to run back 50 bang, bang, metres bang. Yeah. because of the totos, because of their back five. That's they're bringing point. it out. I never thought of it though. You know, so not so only it's, it's do they get back on gas. two or three. It saves their gas. They, 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 save, they save time on metres as well. Yes. So they're not even worried about mm. like – so most teams like uh, they'll struggle to get like 20 metres yeah. on good – so just say if you're playing – so shoe on the other foot. Mm. What the Broncos are doing or just say if they're playing against a lesser team, they're playing against the, you know, the Titans or mm. someone like that. I'll fucking demolish your back five. Mm. You're making 20 metres. Yeah. So what's your middles doing? You're fucking near running back. Running back. You've got to so get back for play yeah. two. So you got to get back. Minimum. So the, the rules are play three. Yep. So you're going to have your fullback and then just say the winger, maybe the centre, then that next play is yours for the middles. Yeah. And then you jam one in again and you kick. They love that. And so when you see Fisher Harris and all these sort of blokes coming back, they're not coming back that far. No. They're not fucking running back. They, like they, the they stay in their lanes, but they stay in their lanes. The communication is elite. When they're going back, so they'll know where Tyler's going to go. They'll know where Edwards is going to go. So on play three, Isaiah Yo is already talking to Fisher-Harris, already talking to the back rowers about where he's going to get. Mm. Like it's fucking clinical mm. because that's what happens when you have elite communication and you have fit middles and you have a back five who just a fucking just non-stop. They get fitter and fitter. And run harder and harder. Like Tyo doesn't get tired. Yeah, they get better as the game they goes They get better on. as the game goes on. No, Dylan Edwards will keep testing you. Mm. He'll keep testing you. Crichton will keep testing you. Tyo doesn't stop. Like it's just like fucking relentless. So if your middles aren't onto it, and then you've got to deal with like a fucking Leota and Spencer Lienu and like on tackle uh, four Isaiah Yo and four and five. And they'll have a fucking, they'll have a really good crack at you. And, and then, they'll, then they'll jam one in and they'll kick it again. And then it's a fucking another attacking kick. Like... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you're talking against the Broncos who've got a great back five. Yeah. Good, well-balanced side. And they were still doing it to those guys. Brisbane had it back, but they need that's when they need Reynolds. Yeah. They need that kicking game. Yep, I agree. Um, both teams were really well. Speaking of two games, two teams that played really well, very desperate. The Dragons versus the Roosters at Cogra, 24-22, right on the Bell Mace. Um, I wrote down as I was watching this game to start the game. Dragons really went after him. This is back-to-back weeks. Teams have gone after Radley and it really throws the Roosters out. I think mm. the, if, if you're looking back and sort of why the Roosters are struggling a little bit, I think teams are going after Radley because they're realising that rattling. probably outside of Radley or getting them on the front foot, they don't really have a plan B, do they? No. I mean, like Hargraves, you got Lindsay Collins. Lindsay Collins is a good worker, mm. but he's not going to – Frighten you. Well, they normally play well off the back of what Rad, Rad's yeah. has been doing because yes. he plays short, gets quick play of the board, yeah. drops people under. But they've been getting people like Penrith bashed, like got after him. Yeah. They bashed all like anyone that was in and around he's him. He's their dude. I reckon he's the head on the plate for a lot of teams. Radley, at the Radley is the head on the plate for every team. Whenever you're playing the Roosters, him and Hargraves. Mm. Hargraves, he's 34 years old. The old bull, the old bull still got it. Yep. But he ain't doing it every single week. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? He'll give you that one every, you know, three or four, four games. You know what I mean? He needs Five, help. Ten minutes Lindsay stick. Collins needs to take that and go, fuck, I'm your dude now. Mm. I'm that young bull, right? Do what fucking Hargrave is doing. Put the fear of life into some fucking props. You know what I mean? You know like, who I thought gave him some um, juice off the bench was Nathan Brown. Come on. Yeah, and, and it'd be good for him. Yeah. Like Angus will be good for him. A couple yep. more games. Tupanua. Like we wait. We, we keep saying this. We don't want to be saying this in six weeks. And I think they've got such a great culture. But they're so well coached. Figure and, it out. And they'll figure it out. Um, you know, Brandon Smith. Fuck, he's out for another eight, eight, eight weeks. weeks now, yeah. yeah I, love, I love this conversation. He, he, was, he was very raw. He was on Triple M and he was just like, you know, he wasn't – He's not playing good enough, you know, like when he was, you know, when he was, uh, his best year was 2021. He's a bit down on confidence at the moment, isn't he? Confidence, you know, as I said, it takes a while to mm. adapt to new new schemes. Mm. You know, like yeah. they don't play like Melbourne. 
Nowhere near it. We just and you had Harry Grant. Yeah. You had Harry Grant, arguably one of the best nines in the game. All you had to do... Cam Smith Melbourne went all right too. Was worried, yeah, Cam Smith wasn't a bad nine either. <laughs> you know, when he, when he first came into the game, right? Yeah, yeah. And then Harry Grant was there. You know, so like he could, he could slip back to lock and there was no like... There was no game plan for him when he went back to lock. He could just run, run, run and run. Yep. And he ball played a little bit and there wasn't much thinking about what he was doing. He was just a fucking goer. Yeah. Now he has His to be a little bit go. more methodical. He's got to be smarter he's got with it. He's a little it. bit more methodical, who he's playing with, where to get to, the cues, all that kind of stuff, what, where to run at. You know, it's, it's going to take a bit. And what, hap- what sucks is the injuries now. Yeah. So a lot of fucking their fans start loading up on you. 100%. And, They're coming you know, after he's, him. And he's, he's got to be ready for that. And Even it's part of the game, you know. Like he said, you know, he said to the um, the journo, your job is to like to to critique um, us. And I'm like, I, I agree with that, but like, not really. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I wouldn't take I don't wouldn't take it personal from a journo who's only yeah. cracking me. I'll be more fucking. I'll be it's, more. It's water off you worry, back you, yeah, you I think he was just trying to give that guy a little bit of respect. I would have yeah. Fuck, I don't give a shit. What Gets you that say. more of that triple. I M do don't give a shit. What I don't give a fuck what you say. I care about what. Teammates say and the coaches. That's um, about it. Yeah. But uh, what do you think of Radley's suspension, mate? He's got two, three games uh, now. Do? The headbutt head on Blake Laurie. Like, just I don't think there was much in it, but I'm just like, what are you doing, bro? It's the same as Kafusi. Fuck, you know we love Rads, man. Me and you love Rads, and yeah. it, I don't think there was much in the actual headbutt. But it wasn't a fucking bang. It was nah, just, it was, it was, just, it was just a it was it was a head nudge. It was just what in there, and I don't deserve. Doesn't deserve four weeks. He's getting four weeks because he's fucking Victor Radley, and he's fucking. But he's also getting his record's not good. He's uh, he should. He's all, got Luke O'Donnell rules. He he's does. nearly up there with the Donsky. Yeah, he's getting there, man. He is because you know even I Sam Burgess, the, the back end of Sam Burgess's um thing before he went to to Union. Fuck, Sam Burgess couldn't do anything. He's getting suspended here and there. Correct. So I just think he needs to um, and he knows it better than anyone. He's just fucking. He's playing in the wrong era. He's just. He's cut from the cloth for fucking the nineties and two thousands, where he, he just wants Jake. to go out there and just fucking kill everyone. He almost deserves he almost deserves two weeks for being a dumb cunt, because the headbutt ain't fuck all. The headbutt ain't. But it's you. like, bro, they're coming for you. And as much as I'm a fan of you, I'm like, you need to know that. Pull it back. I know you can't. He's a fucking dog, right? <laughs> so he gets you, you put him in a cage. He's in a cage. Yeah. So he, he, he comes over, he hits Lomax, fucking sewer pushes him. Every Everyone's around him. And what do you do with a fucking rabid dog? He's fucking this wants to get out of it. This is the fucking problem with the rules, yeah. right? Just let the kid fucking throw but one he's punch. But he's got to understand too. I know. I'm not, condone, I'm not condoning fighting, but I mean, this is what happens when you've got these guys. We are not normal normal people. No. Nah. You know what I mean? We're cut from a different cloth. We don't want to wake up and be a fucking accountant. No disrespect to accountants <laughs> or bricklayers or whatever the fuck you are. Lawyers. Or Dan no, no one fucking wants – or reporters or whatever, whatever you want to do. We want to get up and fucking – Take kickoffs in origin yeah. and fucking play for Australia and yeah. fucking impose your will on other on, on other men. Yeah. Like this is a man's game. And then you take that away and this is a physical game. And then you put that shit around and when you fucking want to just want to swing. And dragons were getting after and him. And they too. know that. Yeah. They know that. They go, let's just fucking stir Victor up. You can't, you can't fight. You can't do anything. This one, your halfbacks come fucking running in. You got mm. all this kind of shit. They're not gonna run in 15 years ago. You punch, you get punched in the fucking head. Mm. There's re- when there's repercussions. To your little fucking smart ass actions, you will not all these all these little dirty little um, grubby things that are happening now in the game that's slowing the game down and it looks fucking punch in the head will settle it. Yeah, hundred percent done. Um, you should get one punch every game. Speaking of uh, not but but not fully loaded, just bang, just, just little, little jab, just little jab, little yep. jab. Only, only jab. It should be the rules. It should be just jab, jab. I seen uh, I seen a clip of you just fucking little jab on Marty Lang. Just the other jab, day. so it's fucking. And I just tried to, I just tried because we we're down on energy. I said oh, I've got to start a fight. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck it, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. Went ballistic. I seen that clip. Oh, of Marty Lang. Marty Lang, you look. Shout all out in. to Marty Lang, man. He's fucking. Confused. You hit him with the bah, like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> a little no limit. What's up? Oh no, he was one of the toughest SOBs to play against. Mate. Speaking of fucking tough SOBs, JDB's starting to get back. He's starting to get back to his best. He's starting to get his legs underneath him. I think people forget. Fuck it. when he when he left the game, bro. Through what happened to 2018, him? 2018, 19. He was the fucking. He was the OG middle. He was he Victor was, Radley before Victor he was Radley the lock. was. He was the lock. He would have been playing. He for was Australia, leading the chance for the New South Wales Blues and the Sheds and fucking Dragons and 
It took them a while. You spend two years out of the game, and I don't care how hard you train. Right. You got to lose your man. legs. What, he spent 20, 21, 22 out of the game, man. Yeah, almost, almost come back last year. Almost two full years, bro. Two full yeah. years. Yeah. Not being able to – I mean, he was allowed to train with the um, – I think he was training at the facilities. Yeah, but I still, you're not playing yeah. and, um, you know, fuck it. You know, at least he's getting back to some sort of normality. He's looked good, I reckon, the he's last couple of weeks. He's, even fucking, in he's when, a big boy, man. When they've been losing games, fuck, he's his tackle tech is one of the best. Oh, best. Yeah, you could throw him in Origin right now. I he would not he, look out of place. His first season, bro, he got me a fucking beauty. Beautiful Straight away, tackle. you know what it's like. Beautiful tackle. You tackle. know what it's like. So I think we're at Manly. It would have been maybe 11 or mm. maybe it must have been 12 or 13. No one knew who he was. His pretty boy coming off a bench. Yeah, he's an accent, little, motherfucker. Pretty I was little like, blonde boy. I remember playing against him. I was like, get away from that JDB. Yeah, he hit me and then he's one of those guys that you turn around and you go, what fucking yeah. number was he? Yeah, like, well, it's like, it's yeah. like when um, Jakey Jabojevic hit the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, run at Jakey. I was, yeah. I'm standing there, Jakey's next to me. Like yeah, run, Jakey. run at Jakey. Bang. Yeah. Fucking nah. perfect tackle that tech. Ain't, that ain't he's it. got he's got those he's got that tackle tech. It's good to see him playing well. Um, yeah. I will say right at the end, obviously the try, Benny Hunt, um, just a masterclass again. <laughs> he like, can, like there's some really good performances across the board. You could tell that uh, Lomax and um, Little deserve to be back in that team. Kick, eh? <laughs> Were you sweating on it right at the death? I thought there's no way. Matt, I, was, I was, like, was just sitting there going, I'm like. He's been missing the easiest kicks. When Fiengai didn't take it directly under the post, I went, oh, bro. Because I've seen him. He, does, he, he goes through like the best, like, you know, like the walking back. He looks like fucking Johnny Wilkinson. Yeah. He's going to pop it from everywhere. Yeah. You might as well give me the ball and fucking just go bang, kick and hope. He's changed his tee back. You see yeah, that? Yeah, he's, he's gone back to the yeah, Good. Yeah. Because he can kick. Yeah. He's got the yips. He's better than he's better than what he's been showing. Mate, he hit that clean. He's a fucking was, fifty percenter. I was legit. He was 60 percent this year. I was legit worried about him. And he <laughs> thirty what three from yeah. He was he was again. He was three from five on the weekend. Sixty <laughs> percent. Yeah, right. I was legit worried about when he took that last kick. But shout out to the Dragons and uh, a massive win for Ryan Carr, the interim coach. Yeah. Who before who was that, that one from ten. Uh, he's a guy that's been playing in the lower grades. I think he played at Cronulla. Um, he sort of played at South back in the day. Right. Didn't quite get a run. I said, yeah. I thought Wolfie's brother would have added, would have, um, would have been there. Who, Johnny Williams? No, Wolf. No, um, Christian Wolf's brother. Oh, Christian Wolf's I know brother. he's in. Oh. The, I know his brother's in the system now. I saw him down there. I didn't. Know, I didn't know who he was until Ogre said it's, it's Wolfie's brother. So he's he does their middles and try like he does. He's my assistant coach. I'm pretty sure he does that. Yep. All right. Moving on to the second game of Friday night. Uh, complete domination, but not the way you think. The Rabbitohs lost the Eels at home, sixteen to thirty six at Trellians. Um, Big Junes left mm. from the front. OG. He was. Uh, he was unbelievable. Well, this is this is one of those games where like he's that player he knew fuck i'll probably get picked i should get picked mm. but just in case you're worried yeah this is what i can fucking do get after it this is what i do and you know you, these guys want to come into camp fucking on a win on a high and that's what he did mm. and you know guys like ryan madison played good you know they'll be they good got man got like moses well. and brown they were fucking great they have to be great yep. to beat these teams yep. it can't be just brown and it can't be just moses Mm. It's fucking as we put Brown and Moses carved up. That's two million worth of cap. That's what you I mean. Have to but play. they have to play good every single game, yep. and especially in the big games to beat these guys. They might come up against South in a fucking first in the first semi. Who that's, knows? Yeah, that's who that's knows. Not. They've got that team uh, to get. I think they'll finish bottom of. The, they could in the second final. Just in the second, yeah. In I the reckon second they're going to finish five to eight. Second, yeah, but like, just say they, they come in that in that um, in whatever a second, the second, the second, yeah, the second semi. preliminary. So um, um. They could easily come up against those guys, and this would be this would be um, one of those games with like, fuck, we got these guys. Yeah, we can get them. We can get them when we're on. I thought I thought they were really going to drop off. So Davey gets injured. He gets the HIO nice and early. Then Madison comes on for him, and then he does his calf in the second half. Shout out to that Jermaine weird. Hopgood. Yeah, it's weird how we done his calf, wouldn't it? Yeah. He sort of stepped back and yeah. Jermaine yeah, Hopgood's been fucking unreal for him, though. Move him out into the left it's edge. From Penrith, wasn't he? Yeah, Penrith guy just couldn't get a run. Just stuck behind I say yo. yo. Yeah, and then yeah. even, but like even with Isaiah, yeah, that's Scotty Sorensen on the bench. Mm. So this is, um, South they were down ac across the board. Still had enough class to even be leading after half time, but sort of. I don't think they'd be too, too worried. You see, Trell after the game was pretty fucking relaxed, and, and that's what I'm saying. With, the guys, like, with, with Trell, you know what I mean. He's probably had that in his head. Just, I just want to get an Origin. Get through the game. Yeah, you know what I mean. He, no, no disrespect to South or that jersey or anything like. Yeah. He would have thinking, 
let's just get through. But he, he don't understand how important his role is for those guys to win. Yeah, he ain't, he can't ever have a game off. Yeah, and those guys win. He oh, has to be. Involved. I think he does. I think he does. But they're just traveling. They're okay. Yeah, but I know but he still has to have that Midas touch. Mm. You know, like he's got. That, that, he's always in, involved in about three or four of them. Mm. You know, like he can't be. He can't not be involved. He needs. He needs that involvement. Four teams on 16 points at the minute. Though, That's fucking Panthers, crazy. Rabbitohs, Sharks and Broncos all on 16 points. Uh, but the Rabbitohs and the Broncos have both played 12, so they've got a buy in hand, so that's big. Um, yeah, and also shout out to Jakey Arthur. Immediate move to Manly, bro. So Did Jacob he? Jacob Arthur's head over to Manly. I think this is a great move for both Parramatta and Manly because um, Manly have been looking for depth. They've got Cooper Johns that's been playing a little bit of six for him. And I think Jesus the best thing ever for Jacob Arthur bit like the, the Luke Brooks situation. It's run its course. Mm. Go away from your dad. Get away, and, yeah. And, and make, this is the best thing for him. Yeah. He gets to make his own name at Manly and I think the pressure will drop off. And like right. I said to him, I, I flicked him a little text because like I said, um, you know, Brad was a big part of the reason I got from Parramatta to Manly back in the day. Yeah. Parramatta converts always seem to go good when they go to Manly too. So right, shout out to Jakey. He's, he's got the talent. Oh, just a lot, a, lot of play, a lot of ex-players, a lot of current players. Just like... You just need a fresh start. Just need a fresh start. Fresh and start. like him getting picked because his dad's playing, you know, like he got guys now that like excuse is done. Nathan Brown and all these sort of guys in Cartwright getting, getting, you know. Yep. He's getting picked over these guys. Yeah. You know? Now so he doesn't have that, to worry about that. He doesn't have to worry about that shit. He gets to earn everything on his merits. Now we can sort of judge him as a footballer and that's it. Yep. Good move. All right, moving on to the Sharks versus Knights. Uh, pretty close game up until half time, but then the Sharks kicked away. Um, we talked about KP, the confusion around that play. Do you reckon it cost him origin? Sharks on paper, though, AG, when they get it going, Hamlin Ueli comes back early from that MCL. They're hard, man. They're a good team. Mm. They're fucking, they're a very good Top team. Top four right now. They run hard and they test you everywhere. This right five side, left side. Apologies, one second. Storm are also on 16 points. Fuck me. It's tight, man. Mm. But the back five, Ramian, Mulatalo, you got Talakai out and they bought that fucking Con Connor. What's his? What's Connor, Tracy. Connor Tracy. School gags. He probably, gags should be going, fuck you. You cost me an origin spot. <laughs> well, Connor Tracy's off the para apparently. Really? Apparently he's been, uh, he's. There's he's too good. Like Talakai's out, you're going to have, put him straight back he in. He deserves to be starting. Yeah, he's week. a starting play. What he, yeah. what he did to gags, gags is one of the, Best defensive centers in the game. Mm. He fucking he had his way with him. Yeah, he rinsed him. He mate. did, and yeah. it was like that's probably what Bill saw the it game the week before, where Gags was like he was on. He needed to go against this kid and 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 take him to school. Him. Yeah, and it was he, sad he to see because it. you sort of knew that it was like oh, a, I was like no, this could be the I love game. Gags. Yeah. I love Gags. I've known, I've known him for like twelve years. He come yeah. to Newcastle as a young kid. Um, he li I lived with Gags. Gags, yeah. I, I moved him into my joint. And I was just like fucking, you know, like took yeah, him under right. my wing. I love Gags. But he, I, I still think Gags. There'll be a role he'll play, to play his part. Origin. Yeah, there's still more to come. You know, the difference still is, more. you know, that with the Queenslanders and that, like they fucking all get invited to the games, and whoever's in the squad who would never, whoever played in the last three or four years, they all get invited to the games. Yeah. Um, you know, so they feel part of it. Yeah. Um, with Gags, you'd be you'd be disappointed, but he would have had a, a talk with Bill. You know, what's the difference between Bill? Bill's ringing these guys, you know mm. what I mean? Freddie's having conversations with these guys. It's great that these coaches are doing, doing yeah. that. Give them a little bit of feedback. Wouldn't it happen hey, back in the day? If you don't make, you don't make it. If you don't make, you don't make. You, yeah. make, you see it on Fox Sports. Go, oh, fuck. I'm in again. <laughs> 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 what? On the fucking bench? Uh, oh, fuck this. I should have got a call for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> you should have called me and said I was on the bench. Uh, um, no, so like I think... Um, get into camp and go, hey, by the way, I'm hip starting. <laughs> I'm starting, shut up. <laughs> um, what is it? Uh, yeah, Hamlin Llewelli. Fuck, I like him. Moisa. Moisa, yeah. I think he squares up better than most yeah. players in the league. Hey, he's let's the, give him some credit, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's been going, like, I think Nico Hines just does what he wants. He yeah. comes in and out. Like he starts, as I said, they try and get to that right post. They try and get four on that short side. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Silent, mate. My brother always calls me when uh. Is that a FaceTime, Is that no, a FaceTime? No, no, no. He always calls me while I'm doing a potty, um, or I'm, or I'm with Lenny. If I'm trying to sleep with Lenny, he always calls me when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, with Lenny. Yeah, Matty Moylan. Yeah. Um, Square just watching up. him, just the way he squares up. Because like on that long side, they, as I said, they they they, they, they do that fan shape. Yeah. One of the best. The but best. Like so, but the thing is how they had disguise it, right? Mm. So the um fucking hell, what's his name? Fucking 
The center. Nico Hines. Nico, fucking Nico yeah, Hines yeah. just comes from like – he stands behind the play the ball. Next minute, those block plays, and then he pushes right out when then – so you've got two of the guys. So just say Finucane and Hamlin Mawelli, right? Mm. They'll both have the ball. looks like they're just going as normal pairs. Nico Hines comes from the fucking short side. Boom, he's around the back. And then you've got the left side back, Rara, and then you've got fucking Moylan, yeah. and then fucking boom, 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 boom. Kennedy at the back. Yes. So he Kennedy, gets, he Talakai, gets, fucking Mulatalo. Like it's it's it is fucking magic to watch. Even uh, when Talakai plays, he's got nice soft hands as well. Yeah, but they all stay tucked in together. It's mm. like you see there, there, and they all. It's like a triangle. Yep. It's like a triangle. That's that's the sort of shape that they have at the back in the last three people. But if everyone does their job, like I think the Teague Hilton. Yep, Teague Wilton. Teague Wilton, fucking runs beautiful lines on the fucking on the left side. He does. And Nakora on the right. Yep. So when they have these long shifts. They're one of the best at it yeah. because of Nico Hines' deception and the way that Moiser straightens up. Yeah. Beautiful, it up beautiful to watch. Yeah, beautiful to well watch. But Hamlin Llewelli, but all their middles, you know, you got Toby Rudolph and that to come back. They do it good. They do it really well. I think fucking Finucane does it well. And I think uh, Hamlin Llewelli runs really good decoys. Royce Hunt. Yes. Royce Hunt because the set, because they'll get you, te they'll test you. Because Royce middles, Hunt will get, man. Royce Hunt will get, you know, he's been getting uh, early balls, scored two tries in a row now yep. just by running those good lines and they've been hitting him. So you've got to account for him before you check and release on the guys out the back. Yep. So they've got it. They've got some shit. They're, <laughs> they're fucking hard. And then they go to the right and you've got Katoa and you've got fucking Ramey and doing the same shit. Nikora fucking just running those great lines. And then, yeah. And then Kennedy just comes from fucking nowhere. They've got, they've, got, they've got a very well-balanced team. Very well-balanced team. The, I think the best balance. Knights fought every and just can't get up away from Newcastle at the moment. They just you know dipped against Paraguay. They dipped against uh, obviously the Knights here in Co is I think they played in Coffs or Port Macquarie or one of the two. Fuck, what a ground. Um, it was, sharp, it was, it, it? Yeah, it was a pretty good it? nick, yeah. yeah. All right, moving on to Tiger Town. Tigers Ooh. beat the Cowboys 66-18. <laughs> and I even think 18 was fluttering to the Cowboys. What happened? 42 from 45 the Tigers completed at. Fuck. All the chat around the 300 passes every session, they're completing well. I'm just playing through teams. I, I wrote down um, that the, 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 the middles are finally starting to learn how to play with Coruscant. Yep. It takes his time. Uh, for people that don't realise, when you play with a guy like Coruscant, like it's not going to happen straight away because yeah. those are no lookers and shit. One, not any, not like a lot. A few people do know lookers. Not everyone can pull them off. Mm. And two, they often get they get you what a big why because mate, sometimes they get you like when he does the no looker, you're looking at him and then you just relax relax for a second because you, you actually think yeah, it's going to go back. back. But there's nothing worse than when you play with a guy who thinks he's got the no looker mace and he tries to do it out the back and you get jammed. Mm. So what the Tigers players are realizing now is when Uppy does that no looker, you've got one on one. Yeah. So for the best way to describe it, when you're playing in the line, you'll see it, like go back and watch Toy it. Toy or way. All these guys, right? For other teams, you run near the line. People don't like run to run through the line. Why? Because they're bracing because they're about to get jammed. Uto Kamano, Pole, uh, Ofangewe, uh, they're all running to run through holes because they they now have the trust because they're like, oh shit, we've he's got to pass. We've it got to us. we've got Api, Api Carousel, and he's actually about that. Right, life. And he gets that and get a little bit meter deeper, meter wider. Hits him like he's going to get you on your chest while you're Take moving. Your time. But while you're moving, right? Take your time. Exactly. Yep. So just just say when he does get the ball, you just move a little bit to the left. Yeah. Get a little bit deeper. Let him do his work. Let Appy work. Let yes. Appy do his thing. Take your time with Take it. Take your time. And that's what they're doing. They're trying to figure – they're figuring out, especially near the line now. And uh, shout out to Big Clem too. Yeah. He's been playing outstanding. He has. Some real fucking hard-nosed football. Um, the back row. It's, Bateman. They're, start, they're, Bateman starting, to, they're starting to play like how they, they thought they would play in the preseason. Right? Very fucking just bang, attack, 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 attack. Yeah. With some good defense. Yes. You know, like just work. But they're playing for, control for each other. because they're, they're yes. playing through their they're playing through their forwards, and everyone's getting on the back of Uppy. Yeah, because they don't have a bad forward pack. Mm. Papali'i, do you know what I mean? Like he can fucking play. Clemmer, Bateman can play. Bolle. Bateman can play. Bolle Stefano. can play. Stefano's in the top. He's, in the, he's in the nineteenth man. Yep. So like they're looking at him 
before Olakuatu. Mm. And he was in that squad two years ago as well. Steph's a gun, bro. He is a gun. Mm. But he's starting to play and he's starting to learn how to he play. He had a slow oh, start. Happy. His first four weeks were awful because I got, got a watch, massive rap on him. Just go watch how Fisher, Harris and Leota play. Yeah. They're the lines that you should be running. Yeah. And he's starting to get closer to the ruck. He's not throwing. You don't have to throw a 15 metre dart. He's not getting out that wide. He's fucking good, good leg speed. Got a good bump. Finds his front good. Got good metres in him. Fucking. And he's mm. got a good role model there with Clem. Mm. Clem will toughen him up. Mm. You know, it's a good, it's a fucking not a bad team. So and nice if you can get a Brooks, that. if you can get that Brooks, like fucking for the next, just say 15 games, get that 10, mm. you're going to win most games. Mm. And if you, don't, if you don't get that, just a little bit off that. Mm. Nothing that's just like kind of cost you games. Well, the you should never lose your yeah. games. Yes. Your halfback should never lose your games. And he's yeah. been responsible for that for the last couple of years. He lost them games. He has lost them games. He has lost. There have been you know, positions so where he's I'm happy for him. I'm happy really for well. Him. Yeah, well, you got a chant after the game happy too. Happy for the coaching staff. Well done on your 200th, but well done for Robbie Farah. Well done to fucking Sheenzy, Benji. Sheenzy with an OG move after it. So after all this hype, 66 points, everyone wants to talk about it. He come and got after the, the bunker about the offer and go and try. I reckon it's a full-on deflection. It's a straight up trying to... Um, deflect yeah. like the win and not get, let the boys get too carried away and mm. and uh, and I just thought it was a, a veterans coach move and I was watching the Sunday footy show and I think Freddie put it the best like they copped a lot of criticism early on and it's a hundred percent the right decision of Sheen's being the head coach why Benji because all of us know Benji's running the team right so mm. for people that don't know Benji's running shit at, at, at the Tigers and then Sheen's just looks after all the media stuff. This, that first eight weeks, man, like I know Benji's fucking strong-minded, but that that could you could break any coach. But Sheen's, you know, fronted Sheen, the media. Yeah. He took it all. Benji kept on working his magic behind the scenes, mm. and um, they're starting to reap the rewards of it. So um, I think it's turned out. Um, it's been a great option to have Sheen's as the the head and Benji doing all the coaching behind the scenes. Um, I will just say on the Cowboys, awful across the board. <laughs> but um, I'm I not think, even going to say I, anything. I, I think this um, Origin period could be a really a real strength for them. So you remember they were travelling all, all the way up into Origin last year. They had a few injuries around. Mm. Um, uh, Hillam Lukey, uh, Ruben Cotter. Mm. Now, obviously, Ruben Cotter's playing. Um, Tom yeah, Malolo back. They'll get Tom Alolo back. Jeremiah Lucia, Nye. Luciano Leilua. Luciano Leilua. They loved plays. him on the weekend. Yeah, they're booing the fuck out of him. And he, I thought he, I thought he He's played good. well as well. He's good. He's yeah. good. Um, but yeah, they're starting to get troops back, whereas this time last year, they were starting to lose troops. So mm. I still yeah, right. I, like... Awful performance from the Cowboys, but I think they can really turn. I think awful's been nice. I think they can turn a negative into a positive. Yep. This okay. time around. All right. All right. The Dolphins versus the Storm. We mentioned it before. Felice Kafusi lost his shit. I think. The, I think the Dolphins, um, as a team, sort of lost their shit. Maybe you know, even go into yeah. the Kenny situation as well, where he head slammed Nick Meany. Yeah. Like it just looked personal, eh? It did look personal, but it just looked like, like they lost I their shit. I, I get. I played against some ex-teammates before. Like you know, you want to go hard, but you mm. just don't go stupid. Well, like, I wouldn't go against like fucking like Bobcat and just try and come in third man and just fucking take his head off. Yeah. Like like I don't know what could happen there. He could break mm. his jaw or something. Mm. I'll take him one on one. Yeah. I mean, Sunny went run at over it. Him. Sunny went at it. Like yep. we fucking go. F it's fair game. Yeah. You know, I run at him. He runs at me. Like fuck was him. that fun back in the day? It was yeah. fun. Yeah. Goes, but there was no animosity there. I'm not yeah. trying to hurt him. Yeah. He's not trying to hurt me. Trying to fucking try and just go at it. Well, you are trying to hurt him, but not illegally. Yeah, just yeah. not coming in. Like, yeah. like I get it when he's trying to hit people and all that kind of stuff, but like the swinging that was, was like coming in, man. I'm like, what if you broke his jaw? Yeah. Like, and even that's, Kenny. That's, but that's the intent. The intent's there. Mm. You just missed. Yeah. I know, I'm not saying he's trying to break his jaw, but like you're coming trying in to hurt him. Yeah. Blind, blinded, not knowing. Like, fuck, mate, it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, even Kenny Kenny yeah. Kenny Bromwich with the head slam. Like, yeah, like Kenny's never been like that. He's not. He just a, sort of bought out. Defender. I, he's not. A, he's just not bought out some life. of the worst. And I think you know, yeah. uh, are they are they thinking? Yeah, you know, we never wanted to leave. You motherfuckers kicked us out. A little bit, yeah. Is, is it like that? Yeah, that's what I felt. I'm yeah, like, that's what I felt. Because if you left on your own terms and you just got more money, mm. or they go, fuck, you should have offered me more money. I've done this and this and this for the club. I reckon there's a bit of that in it. Yeah, all right. I reckon so there's a bit there of that because even Jesse was like, even though he didn't get involved, like he didn't have an incident himself, he wanted he never to, plays like that. But, but he wanted. He was like when it was, was about when it. it was all kicking off. He wanted some. Yeah, he was grabbing some fucking yeah. players that, yeah. he like, that he's he's won grand finals with. Yeah, so yeah. it's a little bit more personal, but it is what it is. Fuck it. Yeah, um, I think Storm did it relatively comfortable. Obviously, the scoreline kept it close because that's just who the Dolphins are this year. Um, I think that style of footy, I think that's been a strength of what they've done this year. Felice, 
Gilbert, Kenny, just bashing people, mm. but they just lost it. And then for the Storm, um, it did rattle them a bit. It did rattle them. You could see that they started to have a, just a little bit yeah. of a look, but they, the class I with think uh, with Felice getting yeah, with that, they were they, looking they, a they're, bit. They're like. There was no inside pressure. Yeah. You know, Munster was like, as I said, hey, the last, a little week, bit early, last, last, last week I it. said, I think he got the mates rates. Yeah. You know what I mean? He looked after and the I press. think regardless, even if Kafusi wasn't on report for that first incident, I don't think he would have pumped Munster mm. because of the fact that, that they had that maroon jersey underneath that fucking well, what, well, Christian, jersey. Well, Christian Wells has got a maroon jersey. Yeah, fuck it. I said, as I said on the group chat, forwards go at it. They don't give a <laughs> fuck. They, yeah, but like, you're not going to get, <laughs> hey, because you, you can replace Welsh. Yeah, you can't you replace You can't money. replace money. You <laughs> yeah, know that, right? Yeah, That's true. the fucking bottom yeah. truth. And yeah. if he had a fucking hit Munster and broke his ribs, the said, whole state would have been off. I was like, you, you fuck, probably won't get picked. You're fucking asshole. <laughs> it would have cried. I was hoping that was going to happen. <laughs> All right, moving on to hoping what was going to happen. Your Bulldogs Ooh. get the nice dub. Come from behind victory against the Titans. 20 to 18. Showed a lot of character, G. Oh, man, they did. 14 nil down with a team like that who can really – they can put you to bed. They were, mm. I think I think they were, they were at that stage we're like, you know what, we're fucking, we've got these guys 14 nil. If we can get another try, we'll fucking really go on with it. Mm. And we're like – we just need to stop that try before half time and get the first one up. Get after. first one, put the pressure back yeah. on them. Because they have then, dropped a couple yeah, of the second half. Yeah, because the second year. half efforts, they come out of the blocks flying. Mm. But they, 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 end, they end the halves pretty poor and they start the second half poor. Mm. We just need to capitalise on that. Just and need we to get did. one, put and the pressure we did. on. We capitalised on it yeah. and we still and we got there. We got back to 14-10 and then, you know, we end up we end up getting the win. So um, just in that fashion that we got the win, it was fucking mad. Like just to see the players and that, just enjoy that. Just enjoy that, just you know, the hard work, just you know what I mean? Same like, as the Dragons, bro. I'm not you saying everybody it. doesn't put in hard work, but I mean, like, yeah. these guys just fucking, you know, we're trying to build a new culture there and, and, and everyone's buying in and we've had, some, we've had some lows and some highs, you know what I mean? Like, you know, last week was a fucking low. If we yeah. had a, we could have got, we could have got beaten this week, mm. like yesterday against the Titans. A fucking good team, mate. They're sitting yeah. there. When we yeah. end up coming back 14, we have resilience, man. We've got some grip. We've got some balls. We've got some players out there. That are playing busted, and, and and a lot of teams are in that stage now. But um, just to just to see him fucking win that game, just like wow, it's, it's good. good. To, it's it's great. great, and that's what I think. What's addicting? Addicted to coaching? You can get addicted to coaching because it's, it's fucking worse the than reward. playing, mate. The reward, just a fucking roller coaster. Mm. At least the players, you're in control, right? Yeah, you're in control. I'm in control of what I do on the field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not in control. I can only give you as much, but at the end of the day, you got to perform. Yeah. If you, can't, if you don't perform, it's a performance-based team. Um, Perform performance-based um, system. I was watching at halftime. I would noticed that uh, Harrison Edwards was speaking a little bit at halftime. It's good, man. Yeah. I have a lot to do with Harrison. Yeah. And, um, you said that well, yeah, there's one thing that you th you, if you'd like him to improve was his chat. I, I'm not, I'm not 100%. He was, his back was faced, but yeah. the, when they were in the big circle, yeah. Serrato was walking around I could see Harrison Edwards talking. So He's got a lot of um, talent. He does. He's got a lot of talent. He's just finding his feet. He could I think be a player for you eight, guys. eight eh? games. Probably yeah. played eight, nine games. But he's, his skill set is a, is, a, is a Victor Radley... Sort of, he's got that ball playing middle. Yeah, feet, ball playing, not as crazy as Victor Radley. No, but, but more, he's more well, of a Cam three Murray, games in, Cam four Murray, games all in. that kind of stuff. So, yeah. the, the the talk just needs to go up a little bit. He's got everything, all the attributes. Plays big minutes. He's fucking smart. Throws a really good ball, good ball selection. Defends well. All those all those little uh, intangibles that you want from a ball playing modern day ball playing lob. Yeah. and can run the ball himself. That's that's number one. Um, I've got a little positional switch for you. Speak to Cam for me. I will. Avarillo. <laughs> Avarillo to fullback in attack mm. and Perham to so swap them around. So you know how they used to do the Minicello uh, and, um, and uh, Roger Tuovasa? Yeah. I reckon because Perham's so good with his communication, you, you, you does, keep yeah. telling me Avarillo just he's not a big talker. But when Avarillo got in and around the ruck in that last five to ten minutes, and then what he did last year, I'm like, you need him on the ball more. Mm. As Perham's having a good solid year, and he's a as solid NRL player. But I just think um, he's he's you need him for defense, obviously, because he looks like a good talker. He um, um, controls the line well, but you need Avarillo in around the mm. ball, man. Avarillo, shit happens around him. Yeah, and that, and we're the bounce to, of the ball try, happens yeah. for him. Yeah, we're trying to get the ball to him a fair bit. He's, he's a right side center, so traditionally you don't really get that much ball. Mm. He gets a lot of ball when it's when we break down on that scrum line and we get him a dummy half and bang, he can get out. Shit happens, but for him, man. sometimes. 
team's game plan for that and yep. they fucking get out and chase you can shut him. shut them down. You know, so after a quick play the ball, we always try and get him just to scheme across the field just to be in a lot of plays because, fuck, yep. he's, he's, he's our X factor. He is. He is. He's got a lot of skill. He's... Um, it's got so much upside. Yeah, the, yeah, the upside. The ceiling's big. The ceiling's mm. big, and it's only his second, you know, third year in first grade. He's gonna yep. get. He's gonna get better. Yep. Um, Titans, they keep dropping off in the second half. OG. Yeah, we we relied on this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll hope. Well, you needed it. We we like needed it. it. We yeah. needed it. But we needed to go up. Yeah. While they was just sort of like going, what are we fucking doing? And we did that. We were able to do that. That's the thing. Have you ever been a part of a team that's before? It's just like they just can't get it right in the second half, like they've been doing. So this is. Obviously Stop dropped off really badly now. against the Knights when they had a lead at one point. Obviously the one with the Dolphins is the one that sounds out the most. And then again, 14-0 against you guys. 14 nil is fucking enough to put you away. Yep. And especially... They uh, look nervous and, after and the first one. And especially when we scored that you know, that first try. It's yeah. like, fuck, is this happening again? Well, because it's a try that shouldn't happen as well, right? It's mm. a freakish try. Burton puts that bomb up. Avarillo catches it. And then everyone just looked around at each other and went, oh, fuck, here we go again. And you know fucking... Someone who wouldn't look out of place in that Blues team is fucking Burton. Yeah. I mean, you, you, probably the, the the only reason why is just probably too versatile. I reckon the form of the dogs has let him down. Oh, yeah, and that. But, I mean, yeah. like, what, what just say if he's playing lights out for the first 10 games? Where do yeah. you put him? Uh, 14. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You don't go. You're not a lock but for But it's him or Nico. You're not a lock for centre and you're not a lock in for 5-8, for, for are you? No. You, I, unless, I, he, I, unless he's fucking play, he's out playing Luai. No, I wouldn't play him over. Uh, I wouldn't play over, over all three in the centers. I'd, if anything, it was him and Nico. And if Bulldogs were playing better, I will say that he has had a couple of really. The Manly game stands out was awful, yeah. and yeah, there was yeah. another game where he, well, he's yeah. either he's he's legit been close to a nine or ten, but then he's had a couple of fives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. You know, that's experience. That's just him. Consistency. Being, that's just being him. Being getting used to be having the role that he is, the leader that he is. Yeah, he's yep. fucking co-captain. Yeah, he's twenty two years on him. old. Yeah. Um. You know, there's a, there's a lot of pressure on the kid. He just signed a five year deal. Like, there's you know, there's a lot of things to be happy about. Yeah. But with that comes a lot of pressure. So the more you know, he can find his feet and um, just become more consistent as a as a you know as a player, as a human, all that kind of stuff. It all coincides what he's doing off the field. What he's doing off the field, all his um everything is seems to be pretty good at the moment. So we're just trying to get the best out of him. Moving he's on such to my a fucking team. good dude. He's good a legend. Kid, love he's a legend. Had a little met him is fucking the grouse. Uh moving on to my team, the bird gang. Our team actually I can't say that fucking merely greats. Raiders versus Seagulls 14, 14 Manly beat the Raiders at Canberra 42 to 14. Manly 13 plus, baby. It's fucking big, man. I will say um, the tries from Turbo were grouse and I was started to notice like, all right, sweet, fucking, he made me look like an idiot. He's in the origin team straight away. Sorry, you know what made it, you when I, when I first went, he's back? Yeah. When he just come off that little inside ball. When a little yeah. inside ball real late, didn't yeah. do much, didn't do yeah. much, but went, that's 20, 21, Turbo. Yeah, yeah, He yeah. fucking wanted the ball. I was a little bit lazy Attacking and he fucking it. went at it. Attacking it. And I was on like, the last he tackle? Peeled, yeah, he peeled Winchester off. Winchester popped it on yes. the inside. Yep. I'm like, he's fucking on here. He wants yep. it. He wants the ball in that position and he fucking, he didn't hesitate to fucking like peel off. And I'm like, if I could see that all game. And then like, Canberra started pretty good. They played. They, they did. They did. They started off they really did. well. They scored a really good try on the, sh- um, on the edge. Schuster. Not the best defender. Yeah, that's bad. You know, he's he's got to be better he's because to, he's, he needs to be better. He needs to be better. And yep. that's the only, that's the knock on him, his defense. He's not working hard in defense. He needs to put his body in front. Yep. Especially those big back rolls, Elliot Whitehead. It's a concentration Whitehead. thing for him. It's, it's a concentration. fucking put your body on the line yep. thing, mate. Elliot Whitehead's running the outside in line. You know where he's fucking going. Yeah. Put your body in front. Um, my moment for Turbo was when he held up uh, yes. Elliot Whitehead. Yeah. That's when I went. That oh, was like fucking hell. Only oh, one person, only one fullback can hold Elliot Whitehead up. I was thinking like ninety nine percent he was going to score that try. How the fuck did he do that? Ninety nine. And then Turbo, and then and then Jakey, Jakey come in and yeah. fixed him up. Yeah. Because I'll say this is you know my reasoning for not putting Turbo on the team is yeah I haven't been overwhelmed by the attack and he looks like he's been struggling a bit but I go back to defence man that 2021 year the amount of tries he was saving like that yeah. or in the corners and I bring up that example of Selwyn Cobbo a couple of weeks ago at Magic Round the second try mm. where it was like a, a pass across and he come across he got himself in a position and he he mentally whiffed on the on the tackle because I believe I didn't I didn't give a fuck like Selwyn Cobbo is a great athlete in this game but he ain't Tommy Turbo no. and Tommy Turbo of twenty one and twenty one would have cleaned Cobbo up 
And I've seen signs of that Caxton. in this game. Put him straight into the Caxton. Put him straight on the rooftop at Ivy Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ivy Blue. We'll be back there for sure. But I just think that uh, moment on Elliot Whitehead, I went, fuck, should have picked him in my team. Mm. Should have picked him in my team. Even uh, he, the tries, I was joking around about it on social media. And I was like, Turbo's back. I He's totally understand straight. why he didn't pick him because you didn't think that he was up to that. To, to what the, if you had a scene. What he did yesterday for yeah. three, or f- three or four weeks ago? Not even three. Even Not even three. He Last week. It. Last he just week. Timed it to perfection. Yeah, he has. He has. And, I find, and that's what the greats do. Yeah, yeah. You, well you, you did call it. So, um, great shout on that. Um, I don't think it was a big call. Man, manly full. Sh- yeah, yeah. I, 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 so I just didn't like the doubters. I I believe so. When, when I put up the poll, it was people liked my Queensland team, mm. but you had a 60-40 split in favour for your New South Wales team. Yeah. So a lot of people with they you were on the turbo. Da- they were like, they there were, were people down him though. Teddy, they were on, they were they on the were, Teddy, they, they were, were on the fucking turbo. I was just yeah. like, hey, he's up. We, I played some golf with Boydie for the for Simply Par mm-hmm. as well and he goes, shout out to Mace for fucking yeah, sticking I'm up fucking Teddy. Yeah, I've always got yeah, back. Yeah, he goes, he fucking cracks me up and he goes, he goes he's shutting a few cunts up, I love it. <laughs> um... I th- I'm harder on Parramatta and Manly than I am any other team. Mm. But when Manly are full strength, <laughs> Fucking all right. they can be a problem, man. Yeah. If Shuey can stay fit, and I'm not even talking about like, fuck the fitness shit and, and all the you know criticism he's getting from Manly players. Just be on the field. Mm. So whatever it takes to get your body on the field, whether it's you know getting off the pierce, nutrition a little bit better, but training well, getting in, he doing looks your extras. Okay. He's all right. He looks fine. I don't know. Like I just haven't seen him play for two or three weeks because he's yeah. been injured. So what I'm saying is, when he's on the field, that left edge, it doesn't matter who's around him. And Tommy proper goes to another level when he's out there. Tommy runs differently Fucking when good, he's man. sweeping on his plays yeah. because he knows Tommy was going right to a heap. Yeah, a heap. He loves on the right side. He yes, loves because Ola right. Kawatu's on yeah, the right. but he likes that. But he was he was moving there. And well, Shuey's back. And great. Shuey's back. So what yeah. happens is, we talked about it before, we might be Coruscant. When Shuey, Shuey does the no-looker at Doom, he always hits the right person. Yeah. So you, you run a more genuine line. You run harder at the yeah. back. You run harder at the front. But then when DCE's on that right side and you've got Ola Kawatu leading you've got Turbo at the back. Yeah, well, see, so you don't even... Kolu. Kola. Kola. He's the one. Yeah, but then if he holds his width... Then Turbo can start doing those fucking, he either picks a long one or he picks a short one. Yeah. He can do that both sides now. Yeah. So, fuck. Yeah. Look out. Watch yeah. this space. Yeah. Just watch out for Manly. Yeah. Just watch out for Manly. If they can stay fit and t- Turbo can gain some confidence like you and Gus were talking about out yeah. of origin and then take it back to Manly. At yeah. the moment, they're sitting... I think 12th. 12th. Equal 12th or some shit like that. They've moved all the way up to ninth with a win. Well, there you go. On 13 points, they're three points behind Penrith. What? They're three points behind Penrith. And they've been average for a month, haven't they? Average. So if they can go on a run, get some confidence, I really think Tolu Kola is massive for Olukuatu because I think yeah. for a couple of weeks there, they'll just throw into Olukuatu and just hoping for the best. And it was really, I think it's a big part of sort of why he didn't make origin. And I think they tried to put too much pressure on him. And that's early all ball, they had. Early ball, it's not under 12s. Let me have a look. What's. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go have a look at odds now just to finish off. There we go. Canberra, they'll be right. They'll bounce back. Let's uh, refresh. Fuck, I've got to be at the start soon. All right, we'll wrap it up. And we'll uh, we'll get to that on the preview. But um, Canberra will be all right. <laughs> Canberra will be sweet. Sorry, the big ogre just sent me a picture. <laughs> get away. You coming tonight? Yeah, mate. All, all right, good. all the best at the Blues Night tonight, OG. And we'll see you at the preview on Wednesday. Cheers, guys. Thank you.